hello, hello, hello. Hello. All right, we back. Welcome. It is the Panda Pandemonium. We are back with the Absolute Pandemonium podcast. Hope y'all are doing amazing today. Uh, gentlemen, sound off. How's it going? Yeah, going good. It's going good. It's going. Like, as I know, um, Duke is my brother, and he's actually in town right now. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. <laughs> so, yeah, I've had my family here. Yeah, it's been fun. We went to a place that we might want to check out. I'll come. It's a chicken and waffle place. Yo, the waffles are immaculate. Oh, really? Oh, my God. But how was the chicken that was good? I mean. I didn't get chicken. My brother never got chicken. I didn't get I had um, Cajun shrimp and grits, and it was good. I mean, I mean, that, I mean, that says a lot about a place. Well, when you go there, you think it's like a restaurant. restaurant. It's more like a Waffle House style restaurant. Uh, the atmosphere was just lit. Oh, nice. The food was good. Oh, I want some more now. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. Oh. Not mad at it. That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, I, I'm. I'm Apologize to everybody. We're running a little late today. Um, the little one, those of you who were around last week, uh, got to meet the, the red panda pandemonium a little, a little bit. Uh, she wanted to go bite you real quick before the show so Had to get that, get that daddy daughter time in real quick. She is now tired and eating dinner. <laughs> I didn't intentionally I make her go over here. Her. I'm just saying she decided that route. So it's like her second time hiking and like really, really going. It was fun. But vocab is still here with us. It's going to be a little bit later. Um, so we're going to go with some, of course, the smaller thing starting off. Um, I I did, I did run across did this, run across and, I and I thought it thought was, was hilarious. hilarious. If y'all know the Taylor Swift, know Swift song, Taylor Swift song, I think you'll get I it. Think you'll get it. Let me move this over. I'm going to shrink this a little bit for y'all so it's not awesome. under my name. There we go. There we go. Tell me if y'all get the joke. It's a joke. So, I don't. I'm not you don't get the What up, Jumbo? What up, dude? So the oh, song goes, I got a blank space, baby, and I'll write your name, but it's light with the death note. <laughs> yeah, you don't want him to write that name. Right. I don't. I got a blank space. I don't want him to have a blank space for, to write my name. I, I don't. I don't. Um, but yeah, I found that, and I was like, that is hilarious. So I figured I'd uh, shoot that out to y'all real quick. Um, oh, quick update, or well, not update, but quick, um, well, I guess update. The Pokemon game that we have in channel, I figured out that you have to go to your Twitch page, right? On your Twitch page, you can buy, like, you can buy items, you can sell Pokemon off that you have, that you don't want, uh, and you can buy more Pokeballs. So you can have more than what you've got right now, or you don't have, it'll say, like, you don't have a Pokeball type or something like that. You go into your little item store on your app, and you can buy more Pokeballs and stuff like that. Hey, Vaka, how's it going? Good to have you. Good to have you. Um, but then you can sell them off. You can add them, add your Pokemon to the your roster, your battle roster, and then you can actually go battle people. So if we wanted to, we could actually hold possibly battle tournaments. I don't know if you can pick the person you're fighting or not. I'll still I'm still looking into that part. But yeah. So just as a heads up, if you get that, you can't run, uh, you can't catch a Pokemon while we're, we're going through the stream. It's probably because you need more Pokeballs. So go sell off whatever couple Pokemon you don't like from your lineup right now and buy some more and then come back. So okay. So just as a heads up on that for y'all. Y'all. Anybody got any small stuff that they wanna run past or run through? I don't think we have that small. <laughs> I know, right? Most of everything we was gonna talk about today was not small. Um <laughs> 
And I think we slightly talked about this. Um, let me see if I can find it here. For those who are dancers or like dance movies, I have a question. Which one are you picking to win the $50 million? Team well, A, team okay. B, or team C? Okay. Are we talking about the movie version or them dancing, period? Movie version. Movie version? Movie version. Movie version. Out. They already lost 50000 Hey, I'll say A. <laughs> he said Team okay. B is already out. You yeah. going with A, Rod? Yeah, I'll, I'll take A. I'm not lying. Well, okay. I'm with A myself. I had to roll with A Listen. myself. Listen. I understand y'all going to A, but the way I don't see, though. Moose is, Moose is Moose go killing me. I'm not Moose, denying Moose. Moose. I, I, I would like to see Moose versus Chris Brown. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mo, have you seen some of Moose's, like, new actual dancing now? Like, yes. Yeah. Moose, yes. Gets, Moose gets loose. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got to go with Moose, man. I got to go see, with Moose. But the, we're talking about the team, though. We're talking about the squad. Moose was not. I see what I see. <laughs> what I see. <laughs> Going with Moose. I, hey, I, I, can't argue, I can't argue. I can't argue. I can't argue. If it wasn't, if it wasn't, if it wasn't for the rest of the squad, I would say it. Okay. Hear me out, though. Hear me out. Okay. For, okay. 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 Which step up movie with Moose are we talking about, though? Ooh. You see what I mean? The one when they was dancing in the what? I think that was Revolution. Okay, so the second one, I think. Yeah, the second one with him in it. I so think. he don't want to get multiple movies. The other two don't. So oh, Moose shoot, they dance with the your girl. No, old girl was in one and two. The two had two had Moose. The first one was J- uh, Tan and Tatum. Okay, or Channing Tatum. Yeah. Team C had more movies than Team A and B put together. True, but we talking about the skills that they they showed during the movie, though. Yo, I wanted to walk upstairs like Moosey the one time. I think it was a movie, the third movie. Oh, that that scene. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. And we didn't really see the prime dance but one time he died. Oh, it was Columbus Short's fault. So. True. Oh, it was Chris's fault. Columbus was ready to go. Well, he should have been more forceful no. with his brother and just yoked his ass. Chris wanted to go. Columbus yeah, is right. wanted to stay. Opposite way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but still. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What okay? What and other what two, other dance movie would be worth it though? There's one more. Uh, There's one more. Uh, I'm gonna have to Google it because Chris Brown. You not say no. no, 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 no. Tis me, your favorite Shamu. purple jaguar. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about Shamu's? No, Battle of the Year. Oh, Alright, so what's the question? Uh, the question was 50 mil. Who you choosing? Which which movie you choosing? Which battle hey, team? Those two people got to represent us. They're like their squad from the movie. Their squad, the whole their squad, squad, their dance squad, they battle squad. Yeah. Oh, oh C. C. Yeah, all day. Y'all going C? Y'all going with C? The whole squad? The squad? I'm talking about the squad, yeah. Yeah, nigga, that's C all day, bro. You crazy. I'm going. I'm still going A, bro. You're okay. wild. Literally, no. the only something. people in squad A that's good is Chris Brown. Why, why A? Because Columbia. you got to think about it. If you're going with the squad A, you're going with the, the very first squad they had when Chris Brown was there. Because Chris Brown's not on the other squad. And right. they were stepping. They wasn't dancing. Right. right. You're so you're going with that squad against C. Against you're C. Wild. When he had her on the squad. Yeah. You're wild. Bro. Nah. The whole squad. Nah. Hey. And you the know the 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 nah. Do you movies. remember? I So you remember the other day when I was talking about <laughs> the RoboCop guy. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Mad Chad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's on, this is the movie where he's on the squad. Yeah, but okay, so so okay, hear me out. Hear me out. 
I know and Mad Chad's on that squad. I know Mad Chad's on that squad. I still say they squad could have took took him. I mean, just but this this was just opinions. This was just opinions. It is just opinions because it's not like I'm pulling out the LXG. Because I will put them against everybody. But the A joint literally, besides Chris Brown and Columbus Shorts, everybody else on the squad was decent at best. But other than Moose and Chad, who else was actually good on their squad? Because white girl could be good. The Korean bitch was fire. Okay, she was good. She was good. Oh, what's it called? But they, that's they a, that's a B girl. That's, like a, that's had, a B girl. They had no, a B boy that they was had the, the, the hey. two Spanish guys, Monster it, and um, what the hell is the skinny one named? Oh yeah, Dude, Monster. And, that's uh, the, the one with yeah. Twins was on. No, Twitch was on the team too. Twitch was not on their team. Yes, he was. Or Twiz, whatever the hell his name is, whatever the black guy. So this is that the second movie? movie third I movie. thought that was another movie. Nah, that's this one. That's where he's introduced. Hold up, hold up. Now, hold on. Yeah. Who would have thought we'd have started this show off? The main one, the one where he's the main, where he's one of the main ones is a movie after this one, but he gets introduced no. in this movie. So he said he wanted the one where they do the rain scene, which is the streets. Yeah, that's this one. Hold up. They have smiles. Miles, I think that's a Korean girl. No, no, no. Right? That was that was the other black dude. No, the yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you talking about? Mm, I don't know if it was Fly or Jenny. I think Jenny is the Korean. Oh, I don't this think she's in this I don't think Twitch is in this one. Twitch ain't in this one. Oh, I thought this is the one where he got introduced. Mm, he's that's not the third not... one, I think. Which one is this? The second one? I think this the second one is the streets. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. I was thinking this was the third one. Either way, though, Mad Chad, the Korean Mad, chick, oh, uh, Monster, and the other later. <laughs> Mad Chad didn't come till later. He in the third one, too? He in the third one. Y'all pulling the third, third Look, movie she in, she in that one. That girl is in that one. Hold up, hold up. Let's pull this. Let's see here. I forgot that the main, uh, main guy was a dude on uh, Wild and Out for a few seasons. Oh, Rob, Rob, uh, Hoffman? I think that's his name. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, damn, I just thought of a funny TV story, but I'll, I want to finish this today. I just remembered something. You good, you good. And some water. Tuck, crumbs, nah, nah. All the people y'all calling out are number three. And she, and she's not in number three? I'm trying to check. I'm trying to check. If she's in number three, then number three, that count. Cause that's what I'm going on. So he was going off of two. You're okay. going off of three. No, 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 going no. off of them two. A show. Of. That's what I was talking about. Boy. Yeah. Oh, you said rain. <clears throat> they did that in streets at the end. I was no, talking about. You talking about the okay, rain, okay. Rain. That's why I was saying. Yeah. Okay. So step three where they did that. One. Yeah, that's yeah. Facts. He hold up, hold up, hold up. So just so y'all know which one I'm talking about. I know which one you're talking about now. Kyle, like, what are you talking about? Either way, they as long as moves and no. that girl they is they in it, dance on we the can outside. count their squad. Yeah, yeah, the oh, one on the outside. Them too. No, there's a difference. Because movie two versus movie three, the squads are completely different. Right, but if they are both... In two and three, then we can call three squad because all it shows is them two. But she can't do nothing. You're not listening. No, no, she, okay. If she's in the third one. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not saying you can't call. You can't use a third movie. What then I was saying was saying. the movie he originally picked was two though. That's Who why I was like, that? no. It was a mistake. It was my fault. Oh, him. I, I said, yeah, no, yeah. I said the water scene. Wait, <laughs> I said the water scene. He was thinking about the rain scene. 
I was taught to sing. So we was looking. We, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I okay, I have to agree. I don't know about name. I'm about to say, I gotta agree with that one. Then. I'm actually naming the characters. So you talking about three? That's what you when you came in. We were still talking about two. That's what threw oh, me off. Well, that's I my fault. That's my that. fault. And be picking the right one. That scene I'm talking about. That scene. Okay. That yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's, that's why I was like, man, Chad wasn't in two. <laughs> there you go. Okay. I, okay, I will take I will take crew three over a. I, if, if we do a right, movie three, saying, yeah, like, I gotta go see. Like, there's no way, bro. I'm literally naming it off. I'm like, you got a you got man, you got monster, yeah. you got skinny, you got skinny, there's a skinny strange dude that was like from South Lane, but also see. like he's doing this shit. Like, come on, bro, they wild. Well, I'll and say this. I never saw I never seen anything in franchise C, so I'm out of this. That's why I'm and three, three is ah. when Twitch gets, gets introduced, you no, know, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I know what I was talking about. I'll put it like this the movies were not that good, but the dance sequences were amazing. That's all we care about is the dancing. Now hold up. Have y'all watched L X D before though? Say nope. what? What? L X D. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I seen that shit. Dude, I watched this shit. Think every well, every I'm top watching. dancer that you know, they basically made a mini series where they fight using dancing. Yeah, that shit was fire as hell. Mad Chad is in that show. Amazing. Yeah, Mad Chad's in there. Yep. Les Twins Here. is in there. Uh All the up. Korean chick is also in there. Twist is in there too, I believe. Um it was it was fire, bro. Like they basically took all the best people from Step Up and then other motherfuckers who do shit and then threw them into a fucking like mini series. I think it was like six or eight episodes. Yes. Yeah, I remember that shit. That shit was so fire, bro. I would I, I was hoping they was gonna make like a season two or something. There is. They did. Right? Heard, yeah, yeah. They, I think they finished it out. It stops all at two, right? At the second season, uh, they out, brought right? two. No, oh, no. They started I think it's two. like a mini. I think it's like like four episodes. They shortened it. Season. Yeah, I don't know if they finished yeah. it though. That's what I got to check here. I'm, I'm actually about to check it here in a second. Yeah, I was about to say, let me look. Hey, what up? I ain't seen you in so long. What's good? All right, let me. But um, how you doing that, okay? I was telling about this new card I just got. It's called Yugami. It's a gaming debit card. Yes, three Every seasons. You... Yeah. yeah. Every time you use all, you get like points and stuff. Um, to buy stuff through them for gaming, like gaming chairs, arcade okay. systems, and all that. So here's what it here's what it looks like here. These are the people that are in it. Yeah, lead lead of extraordinary dancers. That shit was so fun, bro. When I if you if you like dancing, like just watching people dance, you, you gotta check it out. If you like watching people dance and don't know who lesbians are, we can't be friends. Uh, <laughs> Bye. Bye. Also true. So you like, you Honey, like watching this episode? Right no, because I never seen I never seen anything. This episode right here. So you 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 got you you passed. You oh, oh okay I, okay. Yo, no, I tend to real quick. He's gonna be near you because I don't think they seen it. Uh huh. Remember? I don't think she Russian, but she looked kind of Russian. Remember the scene where the the Russian chick was doing the robot battle against that chick? Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. When I like, I thought she was gonna win too. Like I that did too. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I kind of, I kind of edged her to death. Like they gave it to me, but I kind of edged it to her. I'm tell. Oh, I'm tell- side oh, note for side those of you all listening right now, please, uh, please ignore the echo for a moment. Jay's waiting on his headphones, so. <laughs> yeah. We are aware. Yeah, we we aware. apologize ahead of time. Just want to throw that out there. But no, yeah. But no, yeah. For, for, hold up one second. I got it. Now that we doing this, we doing I gotta this. pull this up. Just humor me, y'all. Humor humor me. Humor I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. okay. You about to show the scene? Wait a minute. That can get you. That get a copyright spray. Wait a minute. Yeah. If they pull it, they pull it. Yeah, I think you'd be all right. It's, it's been out of commission. This is so, this is so like, specific. Like, if they do, yeah. 
Here we go, right, right here. No, I'll switch it. I'm not going to do a lot of it. Do a lot of it. Well, while you're getting that queued up, I'll just say my TV news while y'all while y'all was talking about that. Kind of anime related. Um, I'm not sure if y'all know about Law and Order um organized crime, right? Look at that shit. Mm, what's that? Okay, it's a it's a spin-off of the Law and Order franchise as um Elliot Stabler, he's like part of like a real deep undercover unit. They just go after like mob bosses, stuff like that. But they're adding a very interesting character. I don't know if you guys watched the CW Arrow show. They're adding the dude who played on um, Mad Dog on C on um Arrow, he's gonna be mm-hmm. on that show. He's gonna be on that show next season. Or mostly, you might know him from Timo Perez from Coach Carter. That actor. Wow. That's my oh. name. Primo. Took my cruise. Yep. Yeah, I love Primo. Yep. Yeah. So you're gonna be on Law and Order: Organized Crime next season. If you wanna give it a watch, go ahead. <laughs> Just throw that out yeah. there while we while we talk. Hey. Hey. Hey, 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 when I was hey, younger, hey, hey. that speech right gives uh, to Coach Carter when he's like, we're more than the light and blah, blah, blah. That was the intro on one of my uh, albums when I was still rapping and shit. But like, there's a whole storyline to this as well. Like, for those yeah. of you who want to get into it, they, saw, they made an entire actual story with this. Yes. That shit was so fucking bro. I'm but yeah, it. it was far. Uh, if you know Crumpers, uh, Tight Eyes are in it. Dragon is in it. Yeah. Like all of them, like the founders of the culture. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, this is so fire, bro. I'm but, missing it so much. Now I gotta go back and rewatch this. I'm about to go, go right. Back. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, bro, it's been so long because LXD is like. They're like oh nine two thousand to like twelve yeah. two thousand twelve yeah right, back when dancing was the thing like bro listen if y'all fuck with like dancing shit bro go watch that shit bro. yeah League of Extraordinary Dancers LXD <laughs> definitely don't forget about World of Dance before also they, World before of they Dance started, um, watch that before shit before they made it like super mainstream on TV yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, uh, an ABDC. If you can find it, nigga, ABDC was my shit. That I'm used to be. Hey, they used to go too. hard. Didn't they be on like Peacock or something? Something like that should be on Peacock. That's where Jabberwockies got it big. It might bro. be right. Jabberwockies was the first, the first winners I mean, of yeah. ABDC. The they only ones to be anything worth mentioning after Pentatonix did some stuff. Has been doing some stuff too. Yeah, that was the second one. Who? Who? Pentatonix. I thought it was Super Crew. That's what I said. Yeah, Super Crew or Pentatonix? But Pentatonix was also crazy, bro. Yeah. yeah. Super and Crew won. I remember Crew won. Um, Super Crew did win one year. I thought that was lit. The, yeah, one Super of my Crew favorite won, crews. I believe the second or the third. And then Pentatonix won the fifth. The fifth one? Okay, okay. There we go. One of my favorite crews was Heavy Impact. It was an all big boy crew of dancers. They got cut yes. out, but they was legit. <laughs> Especially old dude doing the um, hip hop on his head. Oh yeah, and we talking about like y'all, y'all ladies who say y'all like the big boys and stuff. Like we talking about all two sixty three hundred and up club. Like everybody in that crew was a big boy. Oh, why am I thinking of a certain um, Naruto shooting in, um, ending right now? But I'll leave that at that. <laughs> Which one? What? Um, what was it? I think it was ending nine botchkoi. I think it was called. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's what was a bop low key. That's that, that was a bop low key. But yeah, if y'all can find it, definitely. Find it, definitely. But there we go. Heavy impact. <laughs> Heavy impact. <laughs> Heavy impact. Let's go. It's hard to find good quality old ABDC videos, and I yeah. don't know why. Oh, it's on MTV. That's probably why. <laughs> I yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe, maybe Paramount. Well, I was Plus. on. Was it? What did it? What did they tra- travel? Because I, I was. I watched it on like ABC or NBC or something like that before. Which channel used to MTV have all those shows? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, can't I think remember. I used to watch it on MTV. I don't know, but anyway, yeah. So yeah, okay. We got we got. Oh, that's not the one. Oh, I wanted the hero. So we got that. 
let's go ahead and so while he's pulling that up i do want to go ahead before we get into some of our deeper stuff i want to pay homage to a couple of people who have passed recently um if you were unaware so first i'm gonna start off with an older one that i missed um and this is for luis emilio delgado from mm. sesame street uh i always like, i will forever remember that scene of him playing guitar with the muppets around him like he always had the guitar on the on the porch him that and uh he used to run the uh fix the shop but um but yeah, he passed back in May, May 10th of this year. Uh, he was on the show for 44 years. That's so much time. So much time. 1971 to 2015. He was on the oh, show. Oh, he, he retired pretty much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, you know, it's sad to see that, you know, seven years after that, he's gone. But. It, he brought a lot to a lot of kids. He brought a lot of stuff to a lot of kids. Mm -hmm. I remember learning Spanish words from him when I was a baby. Like, seriously, you know what I mean? So, I can see that. Yeah, man. It's crazy. Um, Excuse me. Another icon that we lost uh, recently is Miss Carol. Uh, Miss Pat Carroll, who did Ursula. Ooh. Um, she did some characters on Chippendale Rescues Ranger. Uh, recently, most more recently, the Tangled uh, TV series they did. They had some stuff on there um, that she did a couple characters on that. Um, My neighbor Totoro. She's the English version. Uh, she did some stuff in there, and uh, she did some cameos in Nancy Drew and stuff like that. But she was 95. She actually passed yesterday. Um, oh man, recovering from pneumonia. So, shout out to their family. You know, much love and hope. You know, hope y'all are doing good, um, as good as can be. So, Was he the singing voice too? You see, yeah, the whole thing is my understanding. Oh, that's so interesting. If you think about Ursula, she really talked her song. Yeah, that's true. You but know, we was um, I I told on my family too, so I had my niece, my goddaughter in the car with me, and we just listened to Disney songs, and mm -hmm. Poor Fortune and Soul came on. We were singing it, <laughs> me yeah. and my singing it. They sitting there like, I don't know hey, this I know song. This. I don't know this, <laughs> right? Right. See, so I had that conversation with my daughter because she's not, she knows Aladdin, she loves Aladdin, she loves Aladdin. but she knows the new Aladdin new with Will Smith, and I'm oh, like, no. baby, no, no, no. no. <laughs> you gotta put him on the correct. You gotta put him on the right. Path. I had to put her on the correct path. <laughs> oh yeah, stick pin in there because that's something I forgot we to mention. What? What's more? Okay. 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 We have to. Kind. I kind of. I just. I just want to speak. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Um. Maybe another. Like, another icon. No, addressing is that what you want to address? The addressing. Mr. Mr. Russell, recent yeah. past. Mr. Bill Russell, Walt Russell. Today, actually. Hey. Yeah, today. today. This morning. Oh, morning. They say legend, he, in peace. Um, he so lived a long life. That's good, but yeah, man was legendary. Legend. Wait for it. Dairy. Like <laughs> you have to put the pause in there with that man. He like that's him versus Wilt right there. And mm -hmm. like Will Chamberlain's another one that was a great, you know what I mean? It's just like they don't play ball like that no more. They don't like he was the goat before the goat. Right? <laughs> he made the goats the goat. <laughs> like yeah, and the only bad. one of few people who actually won a championship as a player coach. Eleven too. rings. Eleven eleven NBA championships, bro. Like I had another picture one. somewhere I found of him with all his rings. Do I have it here? Hold up. You posted. You just had it. I didn't have it with all his rings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just like, bruh. And every, like, there are pictures all over the place of him. If if you watch games since he's retired and stuff, like, he, he was, he made sure he talked to all, everybody. Like, everybody who was anybody made sure they showed reverence for dudes like him. Like there's pictures with him with everybody doing, you know what I'm saying, talking to him and stuff like that. And it's yeah. So yeah, he I, was, I yeah, he was one of the few people even back in the 60s and 70s that supported 
um, Muhammad Ali when he didn't want to yeah. go to Vietnam. Fun fact, yeah. like it was he was one of the few basketball players that actually stood up for him back then. So he was an activist. I mean, everybody talks about how some of the monarch actually should be more activist. You need to take a page out of this man's oh, yeah. book. That man's book for real. Uh, I think he won the Lifetime Achievement Award back in 2017. Yes, I want to say. I want to say yep. 17 too. Yeah. yeah, not 17, it's 18, but I know it's one of them too. Yep. Yeah, didn't they change like either the NBA MVP or the finals MVP to the Bill Russell trophy recently, too? If I'm not mistaken, I will double check here. How, how yeah, look that? at it because I don't remember. Or they were about to change it. I know I heard it recently. Bill Russell trophy, NBA finals most valuable player award. Okay. Okay. Yep. So it's the, the regular one, yeah. Yep. Regular finals, MVP oh, finals MVP then. Okay, that, yeah, that makes so, sense. He had 11 rings. That makes total sense. I mean, completely. Oh. And then uh, last but most certainly not Yeah, least. this one. Wow. Miss Nichelle well, not Ash. <laughs> Nichols. Not Ash. Not Ash. <laughs> but Miss Nichelle Nichols. Uh, oh. she, the first did, in space. Yeah. True. Yeah. We did a whole, I think we did a whole segment on her back in We February. did. Yeah. We did. So Black is Yep, yeah. it was her last convention that she was going to. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, her later years, it was kind of sad, unfortunately. If you want to, if you got Hulu, there's a show called Two Sides. Like, it's an ABC News special. It was about like, her son and one of her closest confidants fighting over her estate. It's really sad. It's it, it, yeah, just look it up. It's, it's a sad story. It's like who do you? It's like whose side of the story you want to believe? Yeah, man. I uh, yeah, it was I a partner and a son. For that earlier, I was just like uh, to the queen Michelle Nichols. May your light forever shine. Uh, say, your light will forever traverse the stars of her heart. Um, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, I think she was. Yeah, I, think I think she was, was eighty nine when she passed. Nine when she passed. And that was uh, the, yesterday as well. She passed yesterday. So, um, there is one. Actually, there is one other. There is one other, and I don't know if I grabbed the image for it because they didn't have a good picture of him. Um, but Mr. Uh, Okamura, Kenichi Okamura, who was oh, the composer right. for Smash Brothers. Brawl was his biggest thing. He passed on the twenty second in his sleep. Um, they say he was one of the one of the composers and arrangers for Smash Brothers Brawl. Uh, he also had contributions for Gearmite, the Pokemon Gym and Evolution for Red and Blue music, Flat Zone Two, um, and so all those songs you know continue to verse multiple games. But yeah, they say he was fifty six. He oh, he's young. That was oh, young. Yeah, he was young. Uh, but but Brawl was probably one of the Smash Brothers' best and... soundtracks, too. Oh, yeah. Brawl had one of the best soundtracks. I mean, Ultimate is good, too, but Brawl, that was like... The people, the characters that in Brawl, they were all icons. They were all gaming icons. You cannot yeah. argue that. Yeah. Maybe one person that wasn't an icon in Brawl, in Brawl's roster. So... Just to think, to put it this way, that song came back not was on not only in Brawl, it came back for Smash 3DS, the Wii U version, and in Ultimate. Like that's how good that track, those tracks were. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, 56. That's that's young. That that is mm -hmm. very young. Mm -hmm. I mean, at least he went in his sleep. I mean, he didn't suffer. If you think about it that way. True. So, for those who, you know, crap. those families, our condolences, our prayers, mm -hmm. you know, hopefully we, we wish we could help. If y'all know us and you hear us, feel free to reach out. We definitely have a can. But, yeah. yeah, just pull one out if you want to. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. So, as we keep saying, we keep losing legends, and I'm, I'm not feeling this. I'm really not. Yeah. Not feeling this. No, uh, it's I made it's the comment fun. earlier and Rob was like he ain't even ever think about it. I was like, We we in Denzel territory right now. I ain't got time for this. I'm mad you no. said that, but I get it. I mean, I'm just I'm serious, bro. Like that's that's that same that's that age range. What I missed it? Like people passing, like we in Denzel territory right now. 
Oh, yo, I, I heard you said that. that, bro. I don't know why you said that. Don't say I'm that. Not, I'm not ready for this. I'm just don't trying to that, prepare myself. Put that even out there right now. Put that even out there, Ricky Bobby. Then call me Ricky Bobby for this. Right? Get that out to you, universe, bro. Man. Anyway, okay. Um, let's kind of bring it back a little bit. Um, let's go ahead, Jay. Go ahead and hit your words. You were talking about Will. I, I, I did not get a chance to watch that. I did. Um, the, the, what was it? His, his apology that he did by, yeah. by answering questions that people had asked. Like, did it even come across as an apology? No, I did. Bro, I just if you haven't watched it, watch it. Uh, it was a lot of emotion behind that. Yeah, legit. And the fact of the matter is, the way he apologized is the way he should have done. It. Right. Now, right. sooner, I would say, I would say, it's a lot sooner. A right. Hell of a lot sooner. Right. But it was just like. You can tell that he's been reflecting and he's been trying to figure out a way to, you know, um, live with himself after what he did. Mm-hmm. And the thing that hit me on, during the apology was like, it was no reason I should have done what I did. It was no excuse. Mm-hmm. Like, he didn't try to uh, say, well, if he hadn't did this, I wouldn't get that type thing. He was right, like, right. yeah, I just let my emotions. I did what a lot of people make mistakes and do is let their emotion take over. Mm-hmm. And if y'all have seen the apology, I, I really think y'all should just watch it. Um, it. I don't feel bad, but the fact that he apologized that way makes me kind of feel like most of the heat that he got for it was not well deserved. Hmm. And like, he, he not only apologized to Chris, he apologized to the Academy Awards, he apologized to everybody that attended. Like it, and I like how he answered the questions too, even though one end I feel like was BS, I'm sorry. I feel like the whole J thing was kind of. Oh nice, yeah, but, Word. Yeah. I was about to say that I wrote a comment. What was the answer he gave right now? Right now? So one of the questions was, "Did Jada tell you to do something, or send you to do something?" And he and said no. I right? was like, and he yeah, apologized for Just, so just guys be in a relationship. Just, just think about it like this. Even if she didn't verbally say to do something, Maybe you right. know when your girl do you that look, she wants you to do something. Right. Yeah, right. Good. So. That that's the only thing I took from it that um I was like I ain't hearing that but everything else was just like okay I get it I I, I hope you find what you need to uh, get over this I hope the world can look past as you know human failure or you know human error mm-hmm. they not but still uh, it's a guy or two who did like a um. I guess you do a review on it. Uh, he, I liked his review on it. it, was, it he looked at it from both angles, and I liked his view. So, like, Lil Will, all Will is doing is waiting on uh, Chris Rock to be ready to talk about because they, I don't think they have spoke since then. Nah, he said yeah, that he reached out, out, and Chris Rock's camp Rock was like, was he's not ready to talk about, about it, it, but what? Chris will reach Chris out to Will. So, Will is just waiting. Okay. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I agree with what you said there. Like I said, I didn't. I haven't watched it yet, but from what you were talking about as far as his response with her. Her. Yeah. If you know you, if you're with someone, you know your person. You know. Not even that. If you know anything about their relationship, you know that Jada is hella manipulative when it comes to Will. Bro. Also true. Yeah, but then so. again, Will is also extremely aggressive when it comes to a lot of things too. Like they have that dynamic that is not always. It's interesting. I'll put it that way. They make it work. It's unique. For better or for worse. It's, it's unique. I'll, unique. I'll leave it at that. It's unique. Because if you know anything about how Will was on 
the show when they first met. You know what I mean? And his whole going through his apology to I and Viv and all, you know what I'm saying? Those conversations that were at that, that happened. If you know kind of how that portion, like those years of him being himself, they led how this relationship started. You know what I mean? I mean, you not only that, I mean, him feeling second fiddle to Tupac. Which he I mean, is. I'm sure he still does. <laughs> yeah. I mean, let's Both be honest. The doors right out my <laughs> bro, it's, bro, she probably told him Tupac would have shot him. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> He's right. He's 100% right. Like, well, you punched him. Right. So, eh. I did a drive by, but. It is it is a, but then again, and, but here's the thing though. If you really look at Tupac and what he stood for, don't get me wrong, he did not allow any disrespect, but I still don't think he would have done anything like that in that arena. Yeah. Because he was he was smarter than that. You caught him after the show, probably. I mean, yeah, now that, like, that might have happened. That might have happened. <laughs> we caught him after the show. Right. Hey, let me come talk to your partner. If nothing else, though, like I honestly, I believe Tupac would have he would have said something. He would have walked up there, but he probably would have said something to everyone. You get what I'm saying? And then left no, it yeah. alone. Yeah, Tupac would have a soliloquy up there. Right. Right. Because not again, again, Will, right after that happened, won the award. Yeah, that's true. Well, yeah, he's said, okay, okay. Wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, we officially say that. Thank you. Think of it more like he already had the award one, yeah, but he didn't get true. one until then, right? True, so like, it was like they couldn't just sit here and say something else just because of what happened. Like, oh, no, no, yeah, I'm not saying that. Know he won, but. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying though is he could have addressed it at that time. I feel well, that, that I feel that the speech that he gave was, that was that was yeah. one of the questions. Why didn't you apologize during uh, acceptance? Yeah. That's one of the questions. Yeah. That was one of the questions. That's a legit question. That's a legit question, what too. Did, what did he say? Again, I have not watched he was like the, it. He was still in his emotions. And, he said know, he was blacked out. Yeah. Like, he was just autopilot, pretty much. Yeah. I don't know. But. I mean, it, I mean, bro, it, it, it's it's not a bad one. I think it's about like twenty minutes. Yeah, something like that. Well, like I hope, time. I hope and pray that it all goes well. So. Yes, yeah, all you can do Me too, because I want another Aladdin movie. We're trying to Jafar. <laughs> Please tell me you're joking. I need that bad boy. Use that man. Yeah, I need that bad boy for. Okay, that yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, I agree. okay, we're doing like another Aladdin. I like the Aladdin, Aladdin movie. Oh. I don't think like I was gonna say he liked like, the Aladdin movie. The only thing, only thing that I felt like, even though it was good for the movie, but me being you know more nostalgic, was the um the the spotlight so much of Jasmine that it was uh, like it wasn't. It's not a bad thing. I'm not saying it was bad, but it's just just me being nostalgic person I am was like right. Right. Jasmine didn't have a song herself. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> so I will tell you, I will okay. be honest, I didn't get past them meeting in the marketplace. Damn. You didn't get nowhere. <laughs> I, I I couldn't. Did you, you at least when, see the, when they messed the up, title scene? <laughs> right, right. When they messed I'm sorry, I'm a musical person. They screwed all my songs up. Hold on, hold on. Friend of me was good. Hey, I do you one better. To this day, I still haven't seen a movie. Okay, I'll take that. I, no, I haven't seen the Lion King one. I have not seen that one. Either. Either. I've not seen that either. And okay, disclaimer for um any of our not being. I was about to say I don't know why he ain't seen. I, I I did not watch the movie for the simple fact that Beyonce is in. <laughs> I'm a Beyonce hater and a proud one. Uh... <laughs> now you know you're gonna call the beehive on you. I just said disclaimer for all things. 
I, I'm not I think sure I hear the bees already. already. Bro, we have, a, we have a we have a friend. Y'all know Oz. She's like yeah. the fucking chapter lead of like Orlando. Oh wow! And I be telling her all the time, like, "Bitch, fuck Beyonce," and she be trying to fight me. Hmm, I wonder why. She gonna say four or four. I'm not gonna get to. Yeah, we're gonna leave that alone. Yeah, we gonna leave it alone. New topic. New topic. <laughs> well, they don't go after me. Hey, whatever. Acting like that on Beyonce's internet. On her internet. Last time I checked, she has no cybersecurity skills. Anyway, I thought it was Al Gore's on that though. Look, see, that's what you meant. But it's not her that you worry about. It's the hive. Right, it's everybody else. It's the hive. It's the hive. Man. Anyway, anyway. Um. All right. Good All right. right now. I got a quick, like, I got a quick segue. Okay. Let's go. This is just gonna be a randomness so before we get into some of the more serious, more the longer, longer topics. Red pill, blue pill red question. Pill, blue pill question. You drink the red yeah. portion. You drink and gain the ability of every main Justice League member. Now let me get that blue. Get the no blue. way. Who's in the picture for the blue? I, that's going to determine my question. Every ability of the X Men. No, I'm just going say to say the 97 oh. X Men. Okay, 97 X Men. It's a oh, that's all the X Men. No, because no. they said the main Justice League members. That's why I said it's, the 97 exactly. X Men. I'm going to say the one that that lived in the house. This one, look, they said it specifically in there. It says. Only the main Justice League members, but they didn't say that for X Men. It say every ability of the X Men. Of the X Men, right? They the have X-Men. to be a member I... of the X Men, though. Yeah, that's all. But yeah, they, as long as they a member, there's a lot of fucking members of the X Men. I think I go Justice League because it's gonna more. It's probably easier just to learn seven set of powers than like a billion powers. Yeah, I mean, you don't gotta use all billion, nigga. I mean, I'm not trying so, to be Ben 10, so no. So who are so who who Tell me. are y'all? Hey. Saying, hey, what up? How's it going? Good. Okay, good quick question. Awesome. Red or blue? What color? Red. red. She said a red post. Red. All, All right. right. All right. What? <laughs> it makes sense if it's just the four seven of the just. Oh wait, psych. Oh wait, that's a psych. I was experienced. God damn it. Wait. I mean, so. That's a toss up. That's a toss up. I forgot Cyborg was a core Justice League member. Now I forgot. Right. Damn. Cyborg is no, Justice League. I don't want no robot powers. I don't want to be a Cyborg. So, X Men. X Men. I got to go X Men. I got to go. I got to go X Men. Nothing against Cyborg, but I don't want to be a robot. So. Who do you think would take. Who do you think would win? We're talking about four X Men, four JL. Four X Men. You have Jean Grey. X Men. Oh no 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 no. no. Jean is core X Men. No, I'm thinking about those. Well, whatever. It's not core. It's like every. Quick question. You said core X Men. So the fact that Rose with Captain Marvel's powers is not really. Getting touched by anybody in the Justice League right now. I haven't started yet. I, right, I haven't even got there yet. <laughs> Superman <sighs> touch her is over. Right. If anybody punches That's her right, in the face, Rogue. it's a wrap. <laughs> I think Rogue can take that power. Is that okay, you know what? X Men got this because of Rogue. I already said X Men, bro. Yeah. X Men yeah. because of Rogue. I mean, we don't discuss it any further. Obviously, you, you have Jean Grey, Dark you Phoenix. Got you got Phoenix. You right. got the regenerative powers of. of Wolverine. How does that sound, y'all? He doesn't die. Oh, that's amazing. I mean, you can throw Deadpool in there. I mean, hell, you can throw Deadpool in there and as a a certain... Well, Deadpool, I wouldn't wouldn't count as an X-Men. He's like X-Factor. Yeah. All right. All right. Don't tell him that. I I mean, the base ones, I would say, are like Beast, Wolverine, Cyclops, Storm, Rogue, Gambit. Gambit. Right, Gambit. Hold on. Can we start? Can we, can we stop here real quick and pause and give reverence to how amazing Gambit is? Like he's he's the main reason why I chose the X Men. So I got a question. Wait, while we're talking about Gambit, 
pause. Um, so y'all know that they're trying to catch Gambit as a black man, right? Good. I did not know that. Wait, no. Wait, what? Huh? Yes. Yes. Hold up. So, Hold up. wait a minute. Fuck this topic. Keep going. He's from New Orleans, nigga. Yes, he's Creole. He's right, Creole. He is. He's Asian as fuck, bro. It makes but sense. Not so- yeah, not not nothing against him being. I don't care if he's black or white. He's still been my favorite ace man. But if they make him black, oh, that's a rap. <laughs> this one cosplaying. Oh, it, that is a no. rap. You can't be gambling. He my favorite character. Man, whatever. We ain't caring about the favorite. What's that do with the price of tea in China? <laughs> right. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's that to do with the price of tea in China? I'm like, like, come on, you. bro. Can't now he will be. Now he will be a light bright if they get him to make a black dude though. He he, he will not be my our color. Yeah, he Rock would have to be a light bright. He, he will be more, yeah. probably more close to a Carmelo Anthony, maybe right. a light of Melo. No, he's gonna, be, he's gonna be like that. a Drake. He's gonna be like a Drake. Yeah. Let's be honest. That's probably cast almost, Drake. Almost. But there. hold on, I I got I got I got a dress. So he said he I can't gambit. Right? Last time I did gambit on height. Clock, Nigga, I think I got somebody. I think I, I think I got somebody. But it's gonna be caramel, right? He gonna be caramel. There's a... like think about no, it. He got no, light skin tendencies. Hey, on a good light skin, you know what I mean? Man, first off, Gambit got light skin mm. tendencies. We all know the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he you got know like, what? He come out smooth. He come out suave. You know, he's a kappa. Gambit was a kappa. <laughs> Gambit was a Kappa. Without a Gambit was a Kappa. Hashtag. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's why. I'm saying. He needs some on one side. One on side. He got a hot. He got a fever on one side. No, very dark. No, that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen like that. Dang. It would be cool if he was a dark skin brother. It really would. I ain't need him. He would not need him. That nigga's someone from New Orleans. That nigga's someone from New Orleans. I would love it. He hustled cards, yeah. But the way he talked and the way he carried himself with the ladies. Hello. How's it going? How's it going? This is my mother, y'all. Hello. Mom! How y'all doing? We do. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Say it again. Mom! <laughs> now, which one's singing? Hope it? you're having a great day. It's okay. Panda. Okay. <laughs> the panda. You know what that is. That's vocab. Okay. Oh, hi! Hey, mommy! <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. That's good. We all right. Hope you're doing Y'all stay great. safe, okay? We will. Right. We will continue working at it. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, like, like, I mean, I get what you're saying there, Tim, with the cars. But the way he talked to ladies, the way he is, like his his vocab, the way he, he his smoothness, his slickness, like he just he sounds like a light break. Damn, you know who would have probably made a good gambit, but probably people would have broken him for doing it. And don't judge me on this one. Y'all gonna probably hate me what I'm about to say. But you know who would have been an interesting gambit? Prince. Prince. Thank you, Prince. Yeah, I can see that. Sure. Prince got hella game, bro. That's what he do. He do for that for that aspect. Yes, but to play gambit, nah. He too short for that. Yes, like he got to be at least. Not bringing up height when it comes to Gambit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Nobody you can be Wolverine, man. You can be Wolverine. He's short. I want to be Wolverine. Gambit is my favorite character. Gambit. The only ass not Wolverine. Height. I'm trying. To, okay, who who would you all get to play Gambit? If we're casting him as a brother, who would you get to play Gambit? How about? There's someone I am thinking okay. of, but I'm, so, I'm thinking of someone from Pete Valley, actually. One of the guys from Pete Valley. He might be light skinned enough to play Gambit, but. And and Idris is already behind him. Hold up. This man said Idris. Get that out of here. No, not Idris. <laughs> Trevor Jackson. Idris is not playing. Oh, that's a good choice. That's a good choice. Hold on, who? Trevor Jackson. Who's that? Hold on. I'm going to pull a picture. Hey, hey, bro, hey, don't be mad what I'm about to say, bro. You ready? 
Terrence Howard, nigga. Did you really say Terrence Howard? <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. You live for it, right? Come on. Yeah, yeah. I remember the movie. Hold on, y'all remember the movie Superfly? Oh, okay. So, okay. Trevor Jackson. Yeah, him. I can see yeah. that. I can see I can that. rock with that. Yeah, I can see that. I can rock with that. I can rock with that. Hold on, I got someone. I mean. I wasn't mad about the Right, run them Oh, calls, man. <laughs> hold on, I'll mute myself real quick. Wait, you said run them cars, oh, man. Bro. Hey, look, I can see him doing smooth. that. I can... Oh, Terrence man. Is smooth as hell, be if Terrence was younger, bro. possibly. Oh, yeah. Then oh, Terrence was like 19. Yeah, we talking yeah, about best man, Terrence Howard? Oh, yeah. I can yeah. see him yeah. being here, but he My was a pit of He's not an action person. That's the only issue he had. Who? Terrence. Nigga, you ain't no seen him in the um. What the fuck is the name of that shit? Oh, I'm talking about like Sunset Park. Nigga, in Hustle and this nigga was smacking bitches. But that's not action. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> and tr- and Trevor oh. Jackson fight. No, no, we were talking about uh Tr Terry Tower. Oh, I like Trevor can fight. <laughs> no, 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 we were talking about Terry Tower. Um, maybe it could be a variant. Maybe it could be a variant. <laughs> Hey, listen, and think like a man. The way he was roasting all them bitches. Now, you know who I would put, though? You said domestic action, but action nonetheless. That's uh, right. That's what I'm saying. Tyler Williams. Action. Oh, oh, from, oh, yeah. I can see him. Everybody hates Chris. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's killing it at Abbott Elementary. I can see that. He's a good one. I can see him doing it. He had to bulk up a little bit, but he had to bulk up a little bit. He had to bulk up some, but. Hey, listen, if 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 they made him Asian, only just so I could cast him as Dante Basco, bro. Rufio, my nigga. I would mean, you really actor. could. That would yeah, be a good image, bro. It, hold it, that would be the, almost like that. he would need one more to be the trifecta. But Rufio bro. and Gambit? Dude. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's if if, if, if so, yeah. Rufio is Gambit, yeah. Gambit yeah. ain't swole, but he cut like a mother. He is because he's, he's yeah, a gymnast. He's, he's, he, he's not swole, but he's, he's a gymnast. Yeah, he's cut. Like yo, I just thought about somebody just because of the cards. Oh boy, from um, now you see me. John oh Cena. yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can see. Yeah, that, that would be fun. That's, I can come up with these varying actors. Let me, let me be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you hey, pick? There's another not see me coming out. Is there? It's just speculation. Oh. And I love the night you see the, the that was good. Two came out. Yeah. Love both of them. For those of y'all who don't know, I'm a big, big magician. I love I, magicians. I know who we could get. I know who we could get. Who? Remember harder they fall? Yeah. Somewhat. A quick draw on the bad guy side. Let me see. Hold on. I can't remember his name. Hold up. Idris is right hand, basically. Check. Not yeah, the I know you're talking about. Lakeith Stanfield, Cherokee Bill. No, no, nope. Why not? You are punk. <laughs> he said he a punk. Why is he a punk? I don't know this. What happened? What I miss? I'm just joking. I'm just fucking around. Oh, <laughs> what I miss? Uh -huh. Homo, homophobic. No, I was playing. Nah, uh, the reason why I have somebody else in mind him in X Men. I don't need him. What to... do you have in mind for him? Let me see who it was. Can we get Beth to play Bishop though? Of course. They should no. not have issue. Why not? Harder. Who are you? Harder. Who? Who? Who to play Bishop? Method Man. Method to play. Hey, I'm with it. To play I can who? see Method Man. Like, I, if you yeah, didn't know Bishop, anybody, yeah, he, oh, yeah, that man was that. Bishop. Definitely. I could see that for sure. Hold on, let me look this character up. No, no, no. Hold up a second, y'all. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't be mad with Darwin, but it was somebody else. I, it's someone because we had this art, we had conversation before.
All right, I'm back. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of, we're talking about X Men casting. I mean, there's a rumor going around that maybe the Fantastic Four cast might be introduced to D23. There is a rumor going out around about that. T4 Elemental. How's it going, man? Appreciate you swinging by. What's it? Who was you? Who was you? Who did y'all say for uh, Darwin? State. That's what I was trying to say. Oh. Who? Lakeith. Lakeith for Darwin. Oh, okay. Okay, I can kind of see that. I can kind of see Tyler for Darwin more than that. Maybe Lakeith could be Morph. I don't know. Morph? Nah, Morph. Nah. Morph's character is underrated. Let me put that out there, too. Oh, first off, with Gambit. I was going to say, the man is a planet buster. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. If he touches the ground, he transmits kinetic energy. Yeah. It's he can only... destroy the entire planet if he wanted to. That's facts, bro. The freezer of the planet it's fast. Power power is legit OP as fuck, bro. Like anything no, he touches, bro. he can because destroy. He used cars to do it, but this nigga right. can do that with that shit with anything, bro. Oh. He just I chooses think to use think of it this way. Because I can, if he grabs a grenade and throws the grenade. You have the initial explosive power of the grenade times whatever he added to it. Right. Like, if the man was as bad as Wolverine, he would be unstoppable. He's just a pretty playboy. Like, that's the problem. (laughs) If he was ruthless, it would be over. That's right. He'd be chilling though. Hey, just think about how dirty it could be if he touched somebody. Right. Like, I mean, he is the only one that could handle the He just rogue, I mean. Man, I thought Rogue never took his powers. Now that I think about it. What? Never mind. I'd rather not know. So he, he, he could, it, I think it, it, I, the reason why, this is, my, this is my theory. I think because both of their powers rely on touch. They wouldn't necessarily tonsil, but by the time she took his power, it would be too late and she'll explode. Right. Because she can't control. So once she touched him, he has like a few seconds of, like, of consciousness to do what he got to do. And before she had her power, she's not going to be able to negate it because it wasn't her that started it. Right. So... Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. That's just my theory. I'm not 100 on that. Don't quote me. Don't don't quote me. Okay. No, we're not quoting you. That's that's just. It's, a, it's a good theory. theory. It's a good theory. I'm gonna though. quote him and tell everybody this is what he said. He said <laughs> it. Okay, we'll do that. That's why you're gonna be Gambit. <laughs> that's why we'll be Gambit. Because when they find out you said that, they're gonna be like, "This nigga don't deserve to be Gambit." They stop me from cosplaying. Nigga, they they oh, I true. can. How? Nigga, you gonna be in the same house as me. I don't have to. I throw that shit in the garbage, nigga. <gasps> wow. Ooh, wow. Oh, speaking of. I, you, I'm gonna have... throw it in the garbage. But I'm a yeah, I heard it. 31.8 <laughs> days to Dragon Con. Yes, sir. 31.8 days. You know oh, about that shots fired. Days. Shots fired. Got beef out in these streets. What you know about that point eight? <laughs> don't know about that. I want to be exact. We got 31 days, 11 hours, 22 minutes, and 40 seconds. So <laughs> while you're talking about the whole, we're talking about the, the uh, this is my theory. They did a study. Oh, WB no, no. commission. He said cosplay yeah. edition. <laughs> Shots fired cosplay edition. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, WB commissioned a study and found that the reason everybody was voting for this Snyder cut was bots. I knew it. I knew it from jump. They were bots. I knew All it. them votes wasn't people. Uh, so I knew it. For those people who they said, hold on, they said they found 13% of the accounts were fake. Okay, they're being they're, they're being three, 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 one and three around. That was about thirty one percent. Right. So one out of sure everything. they're being they're being generous. So we gonna do? Uh, says normal reported accounts. 
ranges from three to five percent. Yeah. So we really didn't need to have the Snyder Cut. I don't know if any of y'all actually watched the full Snyder Cut. I did. I did not. I, I'm sorry that you wasted that many hours of your life. I really have, am. I, there's a. Mm, you know what? We'll have to talk about that after the podcast. Feel free, no, throw it out there. I watched so I watched the first I watched up to Aquaman being jumping in. And then I watched the fight. Like I fast forwarded to the last fight and watched that. I don't say this is about the Snyder Cut. If it was splints, maybe two would have been fine. But other than that, I'll leave it at that. It was so what time y'all come to get with me? It was it would have been fine. I'll leave it at that just yeah, hey, WB doesn't know how to let doesn't know how to re- reel in their directors. I'll leave it at that. DC honestly. man, I agree. Yeah, fucking DC. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I'm not. I agree with you, Rob. Justice for Ray Fisher too. Justice for Ray Fisher. The well. story was like, say, I felt like they took all the trailers and mashed them in there. First off. Like I just I figured they just added all the extra trailers that was on the cutting room floor. But the final fight, I wish that final fight had been in the real movie. I agree. Because that final fight was legit. Now, I think they should have took Ezra out a long time ago and gave us our Barry Gordon from the show. Thank you. Or Barry Allen from the show. Forgive me, Barry Gordon. That. Barry Allen from the show. I was going to say Barry Gordon. Barry Gordon, right. I'm mixing people up. The reason why they didn't want to do that is because they would have had to bring all the, multi- all the Arrowverse into the DCU. And that would have been too much. That's what I'm saying. They didn't want to do that. Right. Yeah, and they've already kind of erased the Arrowverse. Even Superman and Lois are not in the Arrowverse. It's a parallel universe that is similar to the Arrowverse. So it's right. like spoilers. So Superman and Lois talk. TV show is, is in another before, universe. It's on another Earth. So the Arrowverse is No, alive. they added it to the bill. Continuity. They added it. So Arrowverse mm-hmm. has been officially dead since, well, Flash is still left, but it's only coming back for half season. So I'm once sorry, Flash y'all. ends, the Arrowverse as we know it is done. It's over. Yeah. Superman and Lois is in a different universe, and they, the season finale, from what I heard, solidified that everything in Superman and Lois is in a, is in a different Earth. It's not, it's not the CW Earth. It's another Arrowverse. Yeah. Which so, is dumb, like, but... Uh... So they killed the yeah, RIP to Arrowverse. Great, great, great. But Ezra really is not coming back. Yay. What? I'm sorry that it happened that way, the way it happened. But Ezra Miller is not coming back to play Flash. He is not. So. He couldn't even run right in the movie. I don't know who who directed him to run like that in that movie, but they need to be fired. They need, I don't know right, they need to be fired because that running was horrible. Like. It didn't like it should have. He should have ran like a runner. You get what I'm saying? Like there was no efficiency whatsoever to that man's movement. None. I mean, even Forrest Gump could run better than Arizona Miller. Forrest was a. Hey, nigga, Forrest was a track star. He was a track star, bro. Man, should have had him pile good. They should have had him following that. But again, I'm sorry that it happened the way that it happened. I didn't want it to go out like that. But, I mean, I got what I wanted in the end, so it is what it is. You yeah. did. You did get what you wanted in the end. I'll say it once, and I'll say it again. What Flash movie? Until I see a trailer or a release date, I do not believe that thing. Yeah, out. yeah. I feel that. Because there were like two, what was it, four months out, wasn't it? Was it four or six months that they were out from release originally? Because they said they, they took him out a month ago. Is when they pulled him. So, well, while we're on DC, you know, we got to jump ship and come back over to Marvel. Let's get it. <laughs> so let's let's get to the real conversations. Um, so, I wanna I wanna bring up a topic that came across my my feeds and stuff. Okay. Remember we were talking about Phase Five and Six last week, and we were talking about the theme, the underlying theme. Of the the phases. I have one question first, and I'm gonna follow with the second question. Okay, and then we can kind of go from there. The 
first question is, do you think that they have intentionally placed underlying tones, like a single underlying tone per phase of the MCU? Okay, three parts, sorry. Two, do you think that they have realized that it happened? Don't laugh at me, vocab. I'm <laughs> Do you think that they realized that it was a possibility and started doing it as a four and the first three just kind of happened the way they happened? And then the last one is phase four. Every movie in phase four, everything that happened during phase four was all about grief and loss. Followed, which followed right after the Infinity Wars, the end game. Do you think that was coincidence or not? Okay, let me let me tackle this. That way, don't have you get some time. Let me tackle this one. Yeah, all right, first, because I know I mentioned this in this group chat. Because I consider you want like comic book ages. Technically, we're in the MCU Silver Age right now. Right. Technically, we think about the Infinity Saga, Infinity Wars. That was the Golden Age. Right, we're in the right. Silver Age right now. So honestly, it might have been a happy accident at first, but I think now that they've gotten everything. They course corrected. They fixed some things. They've gotten some stuff back. Now I think we're gonna get the real Marvel. Now we're gonna get somewhat of a Marvel that we want, but most some characters have been retired or passed away, unfortunately. Mm. That's why I, I see, especially seeing the Black Panther two trailer, is funny mentioned laws, and I think that's why that's ended Phase Four, because honestly, we everything's been the fallout from Endgame. What has happened? What's happened? I mean, how he even count Spider-Man Far From Home in it too? If you really want to just count that one too, so it started. It really started with Spider-Man and, and Spider-Man uh, Far From Home. I mean, you know, Far From Home. It started with that. That was a little bit of Fallout from Endgame. Now we're into Loki. Was another thing Fallout from Endgame because they went back in time. That's how the Loki series started. Then if you go even further, Wanda, WandaVision, all that. Aftermath of Endgame. And as Panda, you said it before, so I want you to check the boy Wanda, which I kind of agree with. Can you unlock <laughs> truck so I can see if the river is still in there? But again, as I always, as I said before, <laughs> Wanda did no wrong, <laughs> but I was still <laughs> down at home. Uh, but continuing my points here, then we get to Doctor Strange also, Fallout from Into the Spider-Verse. Um, no, not spider it's not wrong title, Far From Home. That's also Fallout from Endgame also. So it's like a domino effect. It keeps going. Then we got Miss Marvel, and we had Hawkeye. Also another one fall out from. Um, also another one falling out from Endgame. You saw what he did during the during the five year time skip. Black Widow was the only one I haven't watched yet, and I, I need to get around to doing that. But that was kind of a prequel flashback, also from what I've heard. Miss Marvel was like setting up the new gen. Hawkeye setting up the new gen. Also, you had um Kate Bishop. Now we're getting the She-Hulk. That's also a new person coming into play. And now with certain rights coming back, we have to, We already know the Netflix characters are in the MCU proper. The only characters we're missing at this point is just Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. That's all we're missing right now. Which sadly, I don't think we'll get anybody from Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. I know that some people want Quake back in. But other than that, I don't think we're going to get much. We're not going to get Coulson back either, unfortunately. I don't think that's going to happen. But... Yeah. Yeah, there's some there's some people that should be here. They're not gonna be here. And that Black Panther two trailer, it seemed like the per Black Panther two just seemed like the best way to just end Phase four with the whole grief, tragedy, and fallout from Endgame. Going well, into Phase five, we got to build it up again. We tore it down. We got to build it back up again. This is was a breather phase, and I think that's been a problem. A lot of people don't realize this has been a breather. You can't coming off Endgame. You can't just stay hot to it. You gotta bring it down a little bit. I mean, we're all anime fans. Here. This is like. Let's say we went, hmm, I'm not sure if the best example, I don't know if y'all got a One Piece example that works a little bit better, but I'm thinking like, you actually remember I kept going up until it got to the Dark Tournament and then it kind of went down for a little bit so you got to the meet of Chapter Black. So it's kind of like in that weird area between the Dark Tournament and the good part of Chapter Black. We're kind of like right there. I'm just using you Hakusho as an example, but okay. yeah. that's, I don't know, maybe there's a One Piece example a little bit better. Uh, that's the first thing that just popped in my head right now. No. But I think, but most people or these, some people are just like, Marvel ain't been the same since Endgame been done or I've been hearing, I don't know if y'all heard like the MCU um, threads or 
rumors going around. People like, oh, because it's so women focused right now, it's whack or whatever. I don't know. People have been saying that. There have been some conversations about that. Which all y'all who say that, shut up, sit down, take several seats. <laughs> exactly. So that's what I'm looking forward to Black Panther two. And honestly, we're probably not going to get what I thought we were going to get, which is Young Avengers versus Champions. I they're going in a direction I didn't even anticipate. So we're not going to get. We're not gonna get the champions. Probably some phase seven. I hate to say it. Probably phase seven will get the champions. I'm gonna be honest get... with you, bro. It's probably ain't gonna be till phase eight. I'm gonna be real with it. You're probably right. Yeah, because they've already uh showcased uh flashes of five and six. So I would agree they probably not even thinking about their shit for seven. Yeah, Unless huh? we hit some, unless we get some hits in six. Like That's true. If there's time. some some eggs that kind of nudge at it, yeah, then yeah, it's yeah. possible that seven will will pop out. But I agree. I I think probably eight is is the the more accurate uh, assumption. Right. But I'm thinking. But I know I didn't mention this with Fantastic Four. I know we were talking about it a little bit, but I was kind of thinking about this. Maybe Fantastic Four sets up the Future Foundation probably. We're getting Secret Wars. Future Foundation Ooh. is definitely going to come into play too. Okay. That's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking. We're going to have the kids. I think we're going to have the kids. I think we'll have both Valeria and Franklin. I wouldn't be surprised. We get both. I mean, of them. yeah. That, I mean, technically. So you made a good point last week, Rod, um, when we were talking about five and six, because like we're saying, we got in five. No, is it Phase Four with Fantastic Four? Or is it Phase Five again? I can't remember. Fantastic Four starts phase six. Phase six? Okay. So we have Fantastic Four, which means there's a possibility of Franklin coming up for phase seven, right? Because we've introduced them. Depending on how the story goes with Fantastic Four. There's a possibility of Franklin in, in phase seven after that. We already have Riri coming in phase six. So that means we have her now. Who else do we have that's young, that's young, uh, young champions? We don't have Viv and we don't have um, oh, yeah, Viv. Young Cyclops, but that that's gonna be a tricky one. You gotta wait for X Men to see what they do with exactly. That. Yeah, that's right. why that's why I'm, and that's why I say we're not gonna get champions because they haven't announced anything X Men yet. Mm-hmm. And then we don't know how Spider we don't know what uh, Spider Man is gonna come into play either. That's another right. thing. Because we're we gonna sell Peter or we're gonna or have Miles. Which one? Right? How are they gonna do that? Because I can. See I would them. love to get a live action Miles. Oh, Sorry, I, I would love that. Yeah, but I think I, I'm thinking Sony and Marvel are just gonna say P- Marvel can only use Peter right now while they're using Miles for the animated stuff. I guess they don't want to confuse the audience, which, which I get. I think it's stupid, but I get it. Right. I right. get it. I mean, at this point, people should know multiverse at this point it's, 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 it's because Marvel. they're doing that Peter Parker and they're doing that um, Spider-Man freshman year cartoon. I mean, you could definitely do a you can have a live action Miles. I'll, I'll leave it at that. Right. But that's gonna be a, that's gonna be good, low key. I think. But they may, we're talking about making characters black. I mean, Norman Osborn is gonna be black in that cartoon for the Spider-Man freshman year. So, no so, Nor- so Norman Osborn having the waves actually makes sense now. Yeah. Hey, nigga, got the waves, bro. Facts. <laughs> he got the waves, bro. He, I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was out here, bro. Yo, they gotta do wave that. They gotta do that on a cartoon. They gotta do it at least one yeah, time. They got to, bro. Can make him Dougie. <laughs> we could make him Dougie too. Make him Dougie. Yeah, but that that's my opinion on the whole theory. Like, like I said, I thought we were getting Young Avengers versus Champions like Phase Six eventually, mm-hmm. but I think with the King Dynasty, we got to see what else is gonna come into play. I mean, she all comes out this week, so thank right. You. So can... let me pull that up here real quick too, because I that was part of the conversation that we were gonna have. Let me see if I can. Oh, here it is. Where is it? There we go. Here we are. So I'm just gonna run it just so we can have it in the background here. But um the trailer for She Hulk, right? I'm just letting it run it so y'all can see it as we're going. Through that here. was funny as hell. That was hilarious. <laughs> but the fact that she was able to control everything, one, I don't think we're gonna get to see Raid She Hulk. Which yeah, we talked about you, that, remember? Huh? We talked about that. that yeah. yeah. That rage, she I don't think we're going to get to see Rage. If we do, yeah. it's going to be for a hot second. Yeah. If we do, and it's going to be at the end of the movie, right? 
Oh. Going at the end of the series, I can see that. Oh yeah, series. No movie. Series? Movie? Yeah, this is a series. It's one. It's okay. you t- shot of Juice Crawford too. I keep forgetting. So, the thing with this is, okay. remember in Shang Chi, we were talking about when it came out how Abomination was in there. We didn't catch that at first with yeah. Wong. So Blonsky, she's she's protecting Blonsky. She becomes his attorney. In this. And Wong comes in, and so Wong is his. Uh, I I have a feeling Wong's gonna be his his mentor. His uh his anger, tra- his an- his like anger translator, not anger translator. <laughs> I'm thinking Key Peel, anger translator. Oh, um, my anger person. You know what I mean? His counselor. And so that's how Wong comes into here because they've got Wong in here with the, working with Abomination. And clearly right. in Shang Chi, he was like, "Yo, we talked about you hitting me like that. Control your anger." As they left, after Wong put him on his butt, right? Right. So Wong now savage. we see how right. right. Wong. I'm sorry, Wong's addition. Let's just add that too. Wong's addition to the MCU was epic. Like, <laughs> Wong is awesome. But um. That, like that, that right there. Nobody that ever say he's underutilized. Right, but Abomination was one of the people like Sabretooth that eventually became a good person. Like he worked with them to fight. Right. You know what I mean? So that that whole part of the conversation. Just seven we already. I'm wondering. When we already. Okay. You ready? Oh, the other part in there that's right at the end here is this part right here. That oh Daredevil with Daredevil, and you were talking about that last week, bro. Yeah, that was one of my ideas was for there to be a She-Hulk versus Daredevil miniseries in Phase Six, mm-hmm. where they would I don't know what the case would be or whatnot, but like Matt's the prosecution, Jennifer's the defense. No, 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 other way around, other way around. Matt's the defense attorney, and she and Jennifer is the prosecutor. I forgot. I always forget she's a prosecutor. Matt's right, right, right. Attorney. I was. Forget. So hard. You're saying but, they're going against each other? Yeah, in the courtroom, but they also have to team up to fight somebody too. But then, what if they start that here? I can see that. I can see that. Mm-hmm. Because she's defending him. It's not better with the head head in there that she's defending. Him. She's like he tried to kill better. my cousin. It's a conflict of interest. And they were like, you still got to do it. You know what I mean? So I'm wondering if Daredevil is, you know what I mean? If Murdoch mm, is the headphones. doing that. That's a possibility. I'm just saying it's a possibility. Um, Because that makes sense. It ties into what you were just saying. Yes. They're, they're, they're gonna, yeah, you're going to see She-Hulk versus Daredevil. I mean, that's you can even do it like Ace Attorney. Like that would. Why has it not been an Easter turning game with Chi Hawk and? Der- you know what? Never mind. That's a fan. I'll, I'll get into that another day. <laughs> but, no, that's, they really so, Capcom and release some of these IPs. But anyway, yeah. But it, yeah, this should be a um, She Hawk versus. Okay, Jedi guys. Uh, we're finna go out with the fam, and get some seafood. Yeah. All right, bro. I might come back. I might. Not. If I don't. Hey, enjoy. Hopefully, some snow. Some king. Yeah. King yeah. Crab. I'm not going to a buffet. Yeah. You should be all right. Are we actually going to the juicy? We going to the juicy crap? Yes. The juicy. Ooh. Ooh. I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. Yes. Yeah. I will catch y'all later. All right, then. Have a good right. one, y'all. Y'all it's have fun. True. No, it's not my shit. No, no, no it's yeah, not. Yeah. So y'all know who money bags is. Right. <laughs> random pu- random coins. Right. Random coins, bro. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, but that yeah, that if we don't get uh She Hulk versus um Daredevil miniseries, I I'll be disappointed, but that's a Disney Plus. I I can even see that as a movie too, if you wanted to go that route. If they do it, they'll probably they'll probably Disney Plus it. Yeah, yeah. What the uh, you talking about the Daredevil? Daredevil uh, yeah, potential Hulk. Daredevil versus yeah. She-Hulk. Yeah, that'll probably be. Yeah. What? If, ooh, that'd be a good way to bring them back too. 
Wait mm-hmm. a minute. I think I got it. I think I got it. What you got? What you got? What if the potential she hawk versus Daredevil is how we get the other Netflix characters back into the show? Maybe Matt Sefini, Jessica, well, Jessica Jones is investigating Jessica Jones, yeah. yeah. So Jessica Jones could have been investigating something that led to maybe Luke Cage having to defend himself or something. See, this, I, yeah, yeah, I, you guys are right. I need to start writing more often. <laughs> you do, bro. We be telling you, keep telling you this. It's okay, you're gonna get it eventually. <laughs> hey, look, and though, speaking of which, it's August. We gotta, we got, we got, we gotta get to work on these, these damn phones. Oh snap! Yeah, we gotta. I, gotta I still, finish. I still only got the one. Yeah, we got I three weeks. Got, I got three more. So, to go. We got two weeks. So here. for y'all, I don't know if I, I gotta go find them. I'll see if I can find them here real quick. But anyway, we've got a we we're doing a uh, like a poetry thing to where we're gonna each write four poems off of two different pictures. Uh, we will let you all know how they turn out here. Probably the show after the 13th. We'll probably, yo, why don't we do those live at Dragon Con? We can Con? do them live, bro. We can do those live at Dragon Con. That's what we'll do. So, oh, live at Dragon Con. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, we can do those. Oh. We do our show from Dragon Con. Okay. So, I'm definitely. I got some breaking news. I got some breaking news. Go for it. Another one. Nobody died this time. Oh, okay. okay. Good. Like, we want to call you the Grim Reaper after that. I, I said, right? It's the Grim Reaper out here in these streets, bro. Okay. Pokemon Besides Scarlet game. and Violet. New new info tomorrow morning, six a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Repeat Pacific that again. Okay. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. New information is being released tomorrow at six a.m. Pacific. Six a.m. Pacific. All right, so we keep an eye out for that so we can drop that information for y'all as well. We'll see if Vocab gets Pokemon um, Violet. We'll see. (laughs) We'll see. I mean, I still got to get the Switch first. So I ain't got the Switch yet. True, 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 true. true, true, true. I ain't get it yet. We got four play club. Come on, as we the four of us got to do it. (laughs) I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it eventually, the the Switch. And then once I get the Switch, I got to get Smash first. And then we can see. Oh, then we got the four play card. You said what? Oh yeah, Smash and Mario Kart. Got yeah, wait, that reminds me. I gotta get the way too <laughs> Mario for Mario Kart and Mario Party. Yep. And yeah. Mario Party, fact. Yo, got all those games. first of all, if, as a realistic, we can't really have a, a a podcast that's about anime and superheroes and cartoon characters and stuff, and we don't ever play Mario and shit like that. We gotta, so, yeah, we gotta do we gotta a Mario do Kart, Mario Party thing one day. Yeah, we got to go to the tournament room. Yeah, we got yeah. to. Bro. Yeah, that'll be fun. But, well, Ben, we on a Pokemon game. I know you posted that picture of Ash earlier yeah, while, while, while we're in the wheelhouse. Uh, and we got the Pokemon anime. I know a lot of y'all know that, you know, we're in the Masters 8 tournament right now. <laughs> we're in the Masters 8 tournament right now. And we got Ash took out Steven Stone. Okay. Mm-hmm. Pikachu killing Metal Gross is out here. Right, but, but he's against uh someone we should have gotten a Sinnoh anime. This is a matchup we've been waiting for since the end of Sinnoh. Ash versus Cynthia. Cynthia. The that one of the toughest champions of all time. If you play Cynthia the game, play she's my grandma named Cynthia. And it's been confirmed that the semifinals, both semifinals, and all the rest of the masters going on. 6v6, which is something we hardly get in the Pokemon anime. So we're getting six versus six. And I hate to say it, I think Ash is getting smoked because I was just watching the dub of Pokemon Journeys earlier today. And I didn't know, and look up this Pokemon. That I didn't know she had this in the anime already, but Cynthia has a Pokemon called Komao. It's a dragon fighting type Pokemon. That I did not, it just sounds good. Yeah, I'll see if I can bring up the picture real quick. Oh, wait, I got Pokemon um, Masters. I can just bring it up real quick. Hold on, I'll get it in the group chat. But she has this fighting type, Probably dragon fighting type Pokemon. That was the pseudo legend of the region Ash won a championship in Alola. So that was their, like their Dragonite, like their Tyranitar. She has it. I didn't realize she well, had uh, it. Spell, spell the name. Okay, it's K-O-M-M-O dash O. Komo. Gotcha. With the dash and everything. Oh, yeah, like I said, Alola was very different. Alola was a very different region. It sounds like it's gonna be fire as hell. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, my man's here is. I pull it up. Let's see. see. 
I did not know who he had. Oh, what is that? That is the pseudo. That's like the Dragon Knight T Tar. He looks fire, bro. Hold on, hold on. Let me add insult to injury. And she has a picture, right? You said what? Same picture. Ready? Right, right. Oh, Kyle Kidd. That was the power up. My nigga, see, bro? Come on, bro. I told you, I knew, I was like, based on the name and the way he described the fucking Pokemon, I'm like, nigga, that nigga gonna be fire as hell. This yeah. this Pokemon has a move called Clinging Scales. You see, I have the scales around its yeah. its body. Uh, it can use that as like a sound based move and knock people out. Nah, chill. Nah, that is a set. I did not know she only had this Pokemon in Pokemon Masters, the uh, mobile yeah. game out. And so I they're bringing know- it to the battle. She's gonna have this allegedly. Oh, wow. She's not that. She has oh, Garchomp. She have Garchomp. Yep. Oh, snap. Yeah. And as as his um current journeys team, uh. He might pull it out. I don't know. Uh, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a like a moment by moment battle. Like uh, he one need to get little thing and he's hit. Yeah, he better have somebody pop up. He need Charizard. Somebody. <laughs> I don't think his journey scheme could pull off the W. I, I did not know she had this, and I was watching the last couple of episodes, last couple of dub episodes on Netflix because they were doing. They stopped right around the promo episodes for um Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. So. I did not know she had this. I knew she had this in um, Pokemon Masters, but I did not know she had this in the anime. That and she's gonna probably use that. And then she has, she has, she has Lucario. She has, well, Cynthia in the anime. She has him. She has Garchomp. She has Milotic. She has what does she have? She has Gastronon. She has. A, she probably has Togekiss, and she probably has some other Pokemon too. Oh, Roserade. Ash with that journey team is in trouble. I, I, that's he might, the whole problem. Yeah, that, you that's play the games really and you problem. know Cynthia was one of the toughest Pokemon champions to beat. And if they start playing piano music, it's all over for Ash. That's all. You hear piano, it's over. <laughs> if they start playing piano music, it's all the over. Piano, it's over. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Iris hold her own. I mean, she forces it a freaking mega ball. So I mean, Iris. Held her own. I'll, I'll I'll give her props. I thought she was gonna get dog walked, and I said that multiple times. I thought Iris was gonna get dog walked, and Iris came out like she ain't no punk. I was like, all right, okay, Iris. Mm-hmm. The anime series you was in kind of sucked, but you you held your own. You held your own. You made sit, you, you made Cynthia Mega evolve, <laughs> which I was not expecting to see Mega Garcha until she battled Ash. My personal opinion, but. We might have a potential Mega Lucario versus Mega Garchomp fight coming. Now that could be interesting. Yeah, Garchomp is a beast. Although Garchomp is not going like, yeah, I was like Lucario is not going. That's not going to fly. It's just not <laughs> like. Mm. I don't know how yeah. Ashes win this. I don't even think Pikachu shenanigans can pull this off. If it's no, a, that's it's a not going to happen. Six, that's not going to happen. Six. Ash needs help. But honestly, I think if he does beat Cynthia, I hope Leon says, "Bring your best six. I hope he. I hope he tells him that. Bring your best six. Bring your best six. And no I mean, don't get me wrong. I think he'll win simply because they have to continue the show. I don't know the way these Generation Nine games are going. This would be a perfect time to retire, Ash. Almost every other. <laughs> Is it retiring? This nigga been tamed for thirty years. For forever. And he, and he won a league. I mean, he won years. two leagues already. He won Orange Island back in the day, and he won Alola. So, I mean, he's representing as Alola. He's the Alola champion. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, it's – I mean, this journey's been more like a victory lap for him, if anything. It's been a victory lap. Just, I'm saying it's that last lap, bro. You know I mean, but are they going to give it to him? Like, are they going to – I guess it's like, are they going to let him go out top of the out? game like they oh, should have years like they ago? Did, that they should have did in the center, or even Callow. Right. Some, yeah, I, I wasn't even watching the anime. And I watched when when I heard Ash got to, I'm like, Ash got to the final. So let me watch. And I saw he got robbed. I was like, Wow, the Charizard, yeah. the Charizard slanders out here. Yeah. I think they use it against Ash, but damn. I was like, wow. so I don't. I I think I I think they'll let him through, if we're lucky, us old heads. If we're lucky. <laughs> They will let him go out with dignity and grace and let him win on top. 
and then let him just be done. You know what I mean? Right. right. Like by now he needs to go be a researcher at this point. Legit, you need to become the next professor. Oh, bro. Right. That's he what he kind of is. That's what he kind of is in Journey. He's a professor's assistant in Journeys. Yeah. yeah. But now he need to be the professor. Right. Like he he should have took over from Oak a long time ago. Is yeah. Oak dead? As many Pokemon as he keeps sending back to him. Like <laughs> he nah. need to be there because he been eighty for the last thirty years. Right for the last twenty years. Right. But the thing is, the Japanese actor who played Oak is already passed on. So like I said, you know what I'm saying. The Japanese, yeah. that's why you haven't seen Oak with more in the more recent animes. You've only seen him maybe mm. once a couple of times every now and again because the Japan, usually, if a person dies, they, they the, retire that character. Yeah, 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 like even, I mean, we could use Dragon Balls. Like, that's why you didn't see King Kai as much in Super because that voice actor got sick. That's true. So that's why you didn't see King, King Kai as much in Super. Speaking of which, you know, the voice actor for uh, Dragon Ball said she wants the voice actor for Luffy. If she retires, if she, yeah, if she yeah. oh yeah, for Nozawa, yeah, she did say yeah, that. Yeah. She said if she if she passes, I want the chick who does Luffy's voice to take over. What what so, if they pass at the same time? Man, let's not talk about that. Please don't talk about that. <laughs> I'm just right? saying they they we got both... the Grim Reaper in the room with us. Do not talk we about do. it. We do, we do. I mean, we already talked about Death Note and Grim Reaper already today. I'm just saying, Luffy came out in '99 and. Dragon Ball came out like ninety seven. Not Dragon Ball been out since like the 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. I'm, I'm trying to make them closer so it makes sense. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, we <laughs> no that's more Japan. Sense. I mean, we are not making sense out of that. We're I mean, not. put it to you like this. I remember. I mean, okay. Here's a good example. Um, Lupin the Third Part Six. The original Japanese voice acting for Jigen retired. I don't know if you guys. Watch the beginning yeah. of Lupin the Third Part Six. Remember how they had that special episode for Jingen, like at the beginning of Part Six? Yeah, yeah. That was that was because that was the last performance of the the last original voice actor right. for Lupin the Third. I was wondering. That's why they did that episode. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, Dragon Ball, even most of the um, Japanese, yeah, they're getting older, and like I said, the person. Oh who yeah, plays they're the all super old. old. They're just old, bro. And been doing it for forever. It's a steady pay. I mean, look, the Simpsons have been. Yeah, come think of it, Dragon Ball's been around. Simpsons has been around just as long as Dragon Ball. Ball. Dragon Ball. Uh huh. Forty years. Maybe. Um. Oh, I wanted to make sure we didn't miss this. Well, we the this. anniversary exchange code for those who play Unite. Oh yeah. That's make how sure you, get you the, put that in. Yeah, that's a quick way you can try out Glaceon. Yeah. If you wanna, if you wanna play him, but I know Panda's waiting for 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 a couple more days. He's been waiting for Buzzwall. He's been waiting for Heck that. Yeah, that man Heck. right there is gonna be a monster. Oh, yeah, post a picture if you monster. got him. Uh, hold up, Buzzwall. Yeah, man, he's also from the same generation as Como. Or his same same seventh generation. Mm -hmm. So here we go. I think I found some gameplay. Here we are. Now, and then this after is, uh, Yeehaw, the content creator, but he's he had a, an extra, yeah, like look at the numbers, look at the damage numbers on that, and he's not even in special. Hold Wait, on, I need to, uh, yeah, we don't see the video. There we yeah. go. Okay, there you go. Sorry, look at the damage numbers. Oh, do y'all see the damage numbers that he's Hold doing? On. I can't, I ain't see it. Hold on. Hold up. Start from the beginning. My eyes is bad, bro. I'm gonna bring this back here. Hold up, here we go. I'm kind of old, y'all. All right. Level eight, unite move. Oh, this fucking mosquito nigga, bro. Yeah, he can get yeah. his united level eight. All right, I'm trying to see oh, the, yeah. the damage. Automatically, I right, so I can't tell. Just really. tell me what the number is, because I can't. Nine, My eyes that's really. nine nine thousand damage already. Okay. The basic account, basic Don't attacks are doing oh, almost a him and, a and, and <sighs> him and Machip are going to be a problem oh, together. Minute, oh, together! If you get him, Machamp, and Garchomp on the same squad with a Mamma squad and a Mamma Swine and a Crustle, it's over. Oh my God! You go straight bushwhack. Bring an old WWE team dominate. up here, go, go bushwhacker on people. Crazy, bro. Domination. 
or, or Tyranitar, because that's the other one. Here, hold on. That's the next one coming up. Yeah, Titar. He come up I have next. that one set here, too. Give me one moment. I haven't seen any videos of Tito. I kind of, I was kind of waiting. I one for you. A Tyranitar? Yep. yep. That's going to bring a lot of people because there's a lot of Tyranitar fans. I heard. Here you go. Oh, God. Oh, what the? Tyranitar is another one. Oh, well, yeah, I saw this video. Damage. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's been walling. Damage. Like, no, just sitting there chilling. Just like waiting for the money. But when he goes in, he goes all oh, hard. Let me bring it back here. Four people. That's three people. One. Four people at the same time. At the same time. That shouldn't be pop. I think I might have pulled that off maybe once with Mammoth on. I might have did one of 4v1. One time. Wait, who? I got lucky. With Mammoth Mam- on. Oh, word. Yeah. Well, remember how long you was waiting to, to get them off Man, that's Memo supposed to be three. is a beast. Like, I've watched yeah. him play that. Like, it's crazy. I'm mad that video made me have to put my glasses on. And then there's three more Pokemon coming out in September, but they haven't revealed them yet. People don't know who they're going to be. People want, yeah. some people are thinking it might be more evolutions, but some people are like, why would they put more evolution? I'm like, why not? There's people who want to play Fire Squad no. Eevee. I, I would do a five squad Eevee, bruh. I would run a straight Eevee squad. I swear I would. Me just too. cause, just for the, just for the hell of it, just for the culture, right? That's that's a straight for the culture. Three million fucking characters. You, that's all you need. And just evolve them differently. That's all. Yep. And then in yep. well, in the Sword and Shield games, Duraludon and Tyranitar are rivals, kind of like a Godzilla, right. Mecha Godzilla type of situation. Okay. So. So it makes sense Titar's in the game. Right. Um, I'm betting if I didn't take a guess one of okay, Pan, what do you think the three Pokemon might be that's coming in September? If you had to take it, if you could pick. If you could pick three. If I could pick three. That's a that's a tough one. Um Honestly, if I could pick three, so I'll give two. I'll give two sets. Okay. One, I would want playable of a set of playable legendaries. Okay. I would want like suicide. In, was it into Intel Intel, the the tigers. Oh, oh, the legendary beast. Oh, the legendary beast. Yes. Oh, I like that. I like the three that. of them. I would. I would want. But any set of legendaries would be nice to play, even if it was Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres. Like, just having the the set of three legendaries would be cool to play. Um, I'm thinking the yeah. catch though would be more versatile as far as fighters. Yeah, true. I mean, Zapdos and Articuno. I mean, you get to play with them a little bit when you play the catching mode. If you're able yeah, to beat but... Zapdos, they are kind of cool to play with. But, but yeah, yeah that's the, a the three I wasn't even thinking. When... I, I, that's a good one. I, I wouldn't even thought of, of a legendary trio. I didn't even think of that. Mm-hmm. I didn't even think of that. Um, they would probably be the two. Mm. They would probably be the ones I would pick. Especially would only be in three. If it was four, I have I do the um the three musketeer Pokemon and Caldeo. I'll do those. Oh, I would pick yeah. those. If you if we're gonna pick just a group of legendary, I pick those. The sword, the the Unova sword um legends, those are probably fun. Um, but what's your second set? Second set, um, or second group, like if it ain't legendary, like what would be the move? So I'll just I'll say I'll say this. I don't I don't have an, I don't have a second set specifically, but what I would do is I would do set releases per generation. So I would start either going back to front or front to back. Okay. You know what I mean? Like Three randoms that are only generation eight, three that are only generation seven, six, and on down. Yeah, because yeah, generation wise, I think the one that I think has the least is um fifth gen. I think the only fifth gen mm-hmm. Pokemon is if I am not crust no crustal no crustal is crustal is six, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, crustal six, yeah. I would think it's fifth, but 
No, there is no fifth gen ones in not no, is it from the fifth gen? No, I don't think so. I don't think it's anybody from Gen Five. Not to my knowledge. Y'all have to look at the roster, but there's a lot of I mean, just doing just adding them like that. You know what I mean? Like let them just go and add someone from each. Oh, Scyther, though, I would add. Oh, Scyther Scissor, I can see that. Yes. I can definitely see that. Definitely add Scyther. Because yeah, you gotta have somebody else that's fast. True. Yeah, it's not many speech there. Yeah, it's not many speedsters. I know that's that's been a main complaint with a lot of people in United. Like, there's not many speedster Pokemon. You just got um Gengar, you got Absol, and you got mm-hmm. um forget what the third one is. Absol. I can't think of it off the top of my head right now, but no Gengar. Even I play with Absol a little bit when I want to play a speedster, oh. but but if yeah, if we're going legendaries, yeah, they would work. The the Jodo Beast, I can see that. That would be yeah. cool, actually. I would say if I was gonna do legendaries, I would act nope. No, that would be boss battles. I'm thinking about the Sentinel trio, but that's they'd be more boss uh, Pokemon if anything. Well, think of it if you add one set of legendaries, they could put the other set of legendaries as the ones that appear. True, true, true. So, true. like each if they if they do an update, right? Like right now, Zapdos, Dreadnought, and who else appears? Um wait, Dreadnought is, no Dreadnought's just eight. That's no, he's just a regular. But I'm just saying the ones that appear, if all if you keep making legendaries be the ones that appear, right? And then when you do a release in a every year, you switch to the next season's legendaries and allow us to play the previous season's legendaries. Okay, like just keep a rotating. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I get what you're saying. As the, yeah, especially with the new Pokemon game around the corner, right? That I wouldn't be surprised. One of the September Pokemon, or maybe in October, if they do Pokemon in October, I wouldn't be surprised. We get a Gen Nine Pokemon in, in Unite, um, probably closer to re- release day. If I had to take a guess, out of what we've seen so far, it will probably be the Grass Starter. I can probably see the Grass or the Water Starter. Probably beaten in Unite. I could probably I see can. one of them. Now I could also see them just going through and adding each each game starting three. That I can see too, because the only only trio we got is just cancel. But they're yeah, they're, they're originals. I know some people want a little Raichu, which I told I I'm surprised they haven't done that yet. And I want people, Trico. I'm not gonna lie, I want Trico. Trico would be a, a good speedster. He'd be a good speedster. Yeah, yeah. Think about like septiles, like running through with his. He would be anime running. He would have to anime run with his with the leaves on his arms. He would have to anime run. And then they have to have the skin like like it's ashes with the um two with the um with the twig. That would have yep. to be a skin. Yep. That would have to be a skin. I can see that as a skin. Oh uh, yeah, uh, all day. Yeah, but oh, if we're going legendary, like okay, I'll 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 I'll, I'll go the same way. If I'm going legendaries with a trio, I would actually pick. You said Jodo. I'm gonna go with. Um, I don't only do it. I know people hate them in competitive. Um, I would do the Gen Five trio because their unite moves can uh, transform into their altered forms. That's what I would do. Like they do Hoopa. When Hoopa does its um oh Hoopa. Yeah, Hooper, if it transforms, it does it. Unite Moon turns it into its other form. Yeah. I can see them easily doing that with the um weather trio from Gen 5. But if I had to choose, but if I had to choose three Pokemon, I feel like it's not enough speedsters. I think I would take I would do a speedy Pokemon. I probably would do something like Blaziken. I know you said set to throw Blaziken in there. I know people. Yeah, and that's Blaziken. like that's an original. That's like a that's a starter. Uh, hold on, let me pull up the Pokemon Unite list. Hey, look, this this old school, but I miss Hitmonchan. That yeah, would those be three good... would be legit. Yo, that Hitmonchan, would be a good... Hitmon Lee, Hitmon Top. Yeah, bro. Look, I, I know, I know, I'm I'm back in the day, but you no. know. Hey. I don't know they haven't bought any of them in. I'm with I'm, you. They would be no. perfect fighters. Literally. Yeah, I miss them niggas, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Him so Roy is the other one. The Speecher. Yeah. And Talon Flame. It's, it's, yeah, Talon Flame. Now, I always forget he's a speedster. I always forget that. But yeah, enough defenders. You have way more all rounders. Defenders are pretty decent too, but you need more speedsters. 
so yeah, speedster is the smallest group. Supporter is the next smallest group. There's one, two, three, four, five supporters. Yeah, the last yeah, the last new supporter speedsters. was Hoopa, if I'm not mistaken. Hoopa was the last yep. new supporter. There are eight all rounders. There are seven defenders. The rest are all attackers. Or, or yeah. There's like 13 of them. Yeah, they, no more attackers. We don't need any more attackers for a while. What I wish we could do, and I think this is what they're trying to do with those emblems. What I wish we could do is buff their stats. You remember how in the games where they had those side missions? Right, you right. Or you can train your Pokemon. So if you beat right. certain Pokemon, you get certain uh, EV training. That's what it was yes. called. Yes. EV training. Like Venusaur should be a hardier beast than he is. You know what? How many times I play Venusaur and I, and I always say that to myself? Like, I wish he was a little bit more bulky. He he just need like Greninja. I get it. He should be able to get knocked on his butt with the quickness. Same but thing with Pikachu. Like, same with Pikachu. Right. But think like all the other ones, it makes sense. Like Cassandrace is little, Cormorant little, Nine Tails, Gardevoir, all of them, Delphox, all of them are small. But then they put Duraludin and Venusaur in that same group and gave them no hit points. Yeah, Dur- Dur- Venusaur, I forget how to say his name. Duralon, Dur- Dur- it's Duralon. Yeah, honestly, I wish Venusaur. I wish Venusaur unite with Mega Evolve, but I don't think they'll ever bring Mega Evolution into play. Oh, uh, if they do, it's a wrap. But that would be like that would be like if be, like if you if you like did the unite move with Venusaur, it temporarily Mega Evolves him, and then he reverts back to Venusaur after a little while. Now, I know they wouldn't this. do that. What if they you get so many points in a round, it allowed it. I can see that. I can see that. But then you have some people will be greedy trying to get the points and I'm paying attention to task. Too. That's the That's... point. That's the point, though. Is that the point? You see what I'm saying? Because if it, it, it's it's the, the goal is to disrupt the team dynamic. Right. So, I know. I brought, I brought this up in one of my uh, Pokemon Unite group chats. I said, I wish it was a mode where the moves work like they work in a game. And someone... Someone, one of the guard chop mains in a group chat was like, No, I would get smoked as a guard chop. I was like, You know what? <laughs> this is also true. Also true. Because I was thinking, Oh, I'm a memo sign. If I see, if I'm playing memo sign, I see guard chop, I'm just hitting them with ice and cold in the day. Right, right. And as, I, don't is, people, I mean, I do like the fact that that doesn't go into effect because that would be horrible. It'd be, it'd be just a fun little side mode. Like that, I don't have that as a, like a side mode because yeah. I know that's. I know that's like yeah. a like a, like just like maybe for a weekend you can just have this mode where Pokemon moves work like you. But that means Garchomp can't get hit by Pikachu. Nor Mammal Swan. No. <laughs> yeah. Then you have the they have well, the immunities coming into play. They would have to put a lot more on there before they did that. Did yeah, that's that's, that's what someone in my group in the group chat said. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm not Pokemon in there to do something like that just yet. I was like, oh, one because of the attackers, we got two fire, we got one two ice, one side two side. Well, one side one side fairy, one water two water. Two grass. I don't know what a Sinjuai is. I forget. Grass ghost. Grass ghost. Okay. Oh, so wait. Just Sinjuai would be busted then. Him and Gengar yeah. would be busted. Gengar I'm, would be amazing, though, as a speedster. Oh, yeah. Being a ghost save and a speedster. And Absol. Yeah. And Absol. Those are dark would be good. They got dark. Dragonite. Yeah, Mammoth will probably be more dangerous in that format. Now I'm thinking, make them a Mammoth Swan main. That's why. <laughs> Mammoth Swan and uh, Alolan Lion Tails would probably be killing a lot of cats. <laughs> well, see, and, that's the thing, though. If if you really wanted to, like, if you made a squad of all all rounders, if you have Garchomp, Machamp, Charizard, Serena, and Dragonite. It really wouldn't matter who the other team had. If we're going by type uh, coverage, by type coverage, right? You see what I mean? 
Like, yeah. Yeah. If they all went to one side of the board, they're wiping that side of the board. Like it doesn't matter who comes at them. Right. That that makes total sense. That makes total sense. Like that is a that's a that's a tough beat. Yeah. And like I said, yeah. maybe one day, maybe another year or two, they'll have a moment like that. I, I thought it would just be fun, just for just a, like like nothing play serious, just like, you know something different. So you're not playing standard or quick matches all the time. Just a separate mode, just for people who like playing Pokemon in general, and then they like yeah. playing Unite. This just be fun, but yeah, um, get back to there. Are, yeah, there are no fire defenders. Not yet, anyway. But fire's never been really a defensive. So I mean, unless you bring in Torco or something Torkoal, like that. Torco Slugma. Turtonator, no, Magmar would be legit as an uh, all-arounder. You know what? Honestly, that's a true that I can see coming as in like Magmar, Electabuzz, and uh-huh. Jinx. Yep. That could be yep. a three. Yeah, they, yeah, that might come into play. But I know my three, like I said, legendary wise, I will pick the Weather Trio from Unova. I'm with it. But for the three Pokemon I want in. I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna say one speedster. I would say Jolteon. Just get another evolution in there. Just get yeah. EV number four in there. Oh, definitely, definitely. I'm gonna pick another speedster. You already said it. That was the second one I was thinking of. Um, Scythe or Sizzle. Or, yeah. or if we go a little different, what if Scizor turns into the other form he has in Legend Arceus? So the Scizor. We haven't got anybody from Legend Arceus in yet either. This is true. That Talk could be that, that could be a curveball. People expect the Scizor and they get Cleaver instead. Yeah. That or either or maybe they could do like they do with the Eevees. Maybe a certain Scizor, if it looks a certain way, you know it's gonna be um Scizor. If you see Scyther looks another way, then it's gonna be clear. I mean, they've been doing that with the Eevees, so I won't be surprised if they implement that. My third one, this one I can see happening eventually. They're gonna put a little Raichu in there, and you know how they're gonna do the skin? Hmm. Surfing Pikachu from that episode. Uh, That'll be yeah. exactly how it looks. Yeah, yeah, that would be that would be the way to do it. That would definitely be the way to do it. Because you're like, okay, you see that Pikachu, you're like, oh, that's a little Raichu. But I still think there should be a Raichu variant too. Don't get me wrong; I think there should still be a Raichu variant. They should allow him to evolve. Yeah. Like you should have the option if you want to play, because I know United already said they're not bringing any of the baby Pokemon. That's why you don't see Chansey as Blitz. Um, you don't see Chansey as um, it's pre-evolved for. That's why you don't see Pikachu as Pichu or Lucario as Riolo. Mm-hmm. They already said they're not putting the baby Pokemon in there. So, so no baby Pokemon. So that means even if we got Magmar and Electivire, no Magby, no Elec Kid either. So here's my question: What do you? What would you think of a? A method to choose your evolution. For example, you can stay as Pikachu. Because we all know in the game, if you keep them as Pikachu or as whatever their base is, there's a certain moveset that they get if you never let them evolve, right? Or if you evolve them later. So what if you had the ability to stop the evolution or to change the evolution for those who have multiple? They're probably doing just like they're doing Eevee right now. I think Eevee's the experiment that they're working on. That's why I think we're going to get more Eevee Lucians. Because every Eevee Lucian, you can tell who it is just by their markings on the screen. You can tell yeah. if you're right next to the Eevee. Because Espeon has his own design. Sylveon has his own design. And Glaceon has his own design. So you can tell which Eevee is going to evolve to. And the movesets are different. Right. They can do the same thing with Pikachu with um, Alola Raichu. True. Like that's why I, w- I wouldn't be surprised it's in there because I could see a little Raichu, I could see it. Yeah, yeah. But the skins will be the key for that one. That's why I said I just make them like yeah. That's why I said making like Serpent Pikachu from the anime. That way you could really differentiate because you're not gonna have Pichu, obviously. Right to, to to tell the difference between. Yeah, so my three would be I'd have Jolteon as a speedster. I would do. Scyther with Cleaver instead of Scizor. I know a lot of people want Scizor as a speedster, but I think a Bug Rock is more unique. But that probably be more of a boss Pokemon, too. Cleaver would be more of a boss, I would think. Yeah, that's why I don't think... Yeah, you'll get Scizor. Maybe it'll do a more mode when you can fight Cleaver. That'd probably be cool for Boss yeah. Rush. 
And then the third Pokemon, this is one of my favorites. I'd have him also as a speedster. Um, Electivire. Huh. That's okay. that's another one. Bring another electric speedster into the game. So, so my third would be Jolteon. Two, so I'm, I'm bringing two speedsters in. So um, Jolteon and then Luxray. So that's um Volker's signature Pokemon. His ace right. from the anime. So Gen 4 is another Sinnoh Pokemon. And then we get... I don't know, but now that I'm thinking about it, they're using Magmar and, Ele- and um, Electivire. Electabuzz, um, yeah. And Electabuzz, man. I think if they did that, they'll probably bring Flareon and Electivire together. Now that I'm thinking about it. Those two might come together. That makes so I'm sense. Gonna, I'm going to swap... I'm going to swap Jolteon out for another Pokemon. Okay. We were talking about starters... I'm gonna bring in Torterra as a as a defender. I'm with it. I'm with it. Torterra, as big as bulky as that thing is. See, I always thought Venusaur should have been a defender in the first place. Me too. Or a bulky or a bulky attack or a bulky defender. Right. There's like, no in I between. could easily have seen that, but they didn't. Yeah. But Torterra, yeah, that was a, that's a good one. Torterra would be the Venusaur we wanted, the defensive Venusaur yeah. we wanted. Yeah. So Torterra. Luxray. I'm bringing in Sinnoh Pokemon, but I'm going to bring in a 6 Gen Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Also, I'm going to bring in... How about... No, Crustle's already in. I'm trying to think. You know what? I'll do Turtonator as a defender, too. Get another 7 Gen Pokemon in there. So, Turtonator as a defender. Torterra as a defender. And Luxray as a speedster. So, two more defenders and another speedster. Okay. Okay. Because they're going to probably add some more speeches. I can see Scissors is going to come eventually. I mean, they brought Tyranitar. So I know Scissors I know Scissors are another, yeah. another very popular Johto Pokemon. So they'll get the popular ones in. Now, here's one that I think they should pull that's similar along that line of Jinx you were talking about. Um, is it Loudred? Oh, Loud, oh Explo- Loudred? Yes. Oh, he would be fun. He would be a fun one. Like, as a defender, think about his area of coverage. Yeah, and then he's sound based. He could be, he could be uh-huh. like a speedier Blastoise. I can see him as a yep. speedier Blastoise. Yep. Like he's a little bit speedier than as Blastoise, but I can see that. Like it'll be interesting what the next three are. That we'll we'll probably find that out soon. And then, like I said, we got the Scarlet and Violet news coming out tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, yeah. Which and is about that may be a part of it. So we'll see. We'll see, yeah. we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, because that yeah, that people have been waiting for Pokemon news for like a while now. It, it's been dry in the streets, even in the rumor streets, it's yeah. been dry. Because we have the whole past and present thing going. That's why I think they're gonna retire Ash, my personal theory, because you can f- retire Ash and then just start him on it could be Ash's son. I mean, pull a Boruto, why not? Pull a Boruto. Right. That's what everybody else is doing anyway. Ash we need to have a son, nigga. He's 40 years old. <laughs> Ash beats Leon because the champion hooks up with. Oh lord, that's gonna be worth it in our Ruto shipping war ending. Oh good god, you know what I'm here for? Because if you if you're reading or watching Naruto around the time that series is with the shipping wars, oh boy, oh boy, that's all I'm gonna say. Because if you're around when Naruhina became canon, yeah, yeah, I I ain't seen people that mad since. OJ? <laughs> nah, not that. Right. It was close, though. Shoot. It was definitely close. Well, like, I'm breaking up. Yeah, I'm, I was talking with a TikToker the other day. Um, um, and She had a video talking about like why she likes Hinata, and she didn't realize she likes Hinata for the same reason she likes Gohan. All the wasted potential that they had. Wow. I was like, oh! <laughs> oh <man. laughs> Like they have potential, but they never utilized it. Well, so go it's on. funny you say that. You're talking about wasted potential. <laughs> so oh, look boy. what's coming out in 2024. Yikes. Adult Aang. They're doing a Adult movie Aang. of Adult Aang. Adult Gang, nigga. Yeah, the Gang. Gang shit. Mm. <laughs> I didn't think we'd ever get an adult ink movie. I, I have that on the bingo card. So, 
Yeah, it's not going to be about Kyoshi like they were going to do, but it's going to be about Aang. That so, fan pressure, man. That when fan they were pressure. young adults. I'm, that's that was, what I wanted in the first place. Shoot, we wanted to see what happened to him when they finally got the right because they just jumped into him being dead. Yeah. So wanted to throw that out there for everybody as we uh as we kind of pull to a close. Mm-hmm. But I wanted to kind of give that out there. Um I'm trying to think if there's anything else right now. I don't think so. Can't think of anything else. Oh. Like Only other thing I can think of, we got uh the Dungeons and Dragons movie coming out, which I cannot wait for. That is gonna be freaking awesome. Well, speaking of which, we still need to do a D and D. We do. We do need to do our D and D game. We gotta find a day. Long time. It has been. It has been. Um. Let's see here. Oh, we didn't talk about the um the manga stuff. We didn't talk about the um the hiatus stuff. Oh yeah, you we go throw that in as well. yeah, we had the new um out yeah we had the Rui Dragon. This was a new series out in Shonen Jump. Um, the manga cut for that got sick already and it's on a indefinite hiatus. It was it was it was only like five chapters in and the manga cut had to go on break unfortunately. Um. Due to physical Ill- illness, that was just sad. The story has potential about this girl who finds out she's a dragon and trying to figure out how to live life as a dragon and human. Kind of, up kind of a different cool. idea. It was, it was kind of cool. I was kind of, you know, kind of sad to hear about that. And then also, I think that one of the manga um, tidbit also. No, all right, that was the only manga one. For those who wanted to know. Yeah, yeah, it's only it's on the Shonen Jump app. If you have it, it's only a dollar ninety nine a month. You can read all the old manga, old Dragon Ball, Yu Yu Hakusho, Doctor Stone, One Piece. Yeah, Ma- Mashal is on there too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Mashal, Sakamoto Days. Yeah. Which Saka, I'm calling it now. Sakamoto Days is getting an anime, and so will Mashal. Oh I'm yeah! It now. Before the end of the year, before the end of yeah. both those before the end. end of twenty twenty three, I think they will get an anime. Yeah, I'm like yeah. I'm surprised. Um, no, Master already got the anime. Is Sakamoto Days? It started? No, it, it was announced, but I oh, think okay, coming okay, out twenty twenty three. But a lot of people were surprised that got an anime announcement. And Sakamoto Days didn't, and they both came out around the same time. Yeah, no, Master's got more action. Flat that out, that I can see. Sakamoto Days is like Way of the Household House Husband. People didn't think that Way of the House Husband was going to do what it did. That show is hilarious. Even oh, I, gotta, I was, yeah. I got to watch that Way of the House Husband because Sakamoto Days caught me. I'm like, that's a different point. You have a retired sniper running a convenience store and then they bring him back into the. I'm like, you know what? I like that idea. I like the idea. The Way of the House Husband. He's a. He was the. He ran the Yakuza basically. And then stopped because he got married, and now he runs his house like he ran the yakuza, but no one knows <laughs> why he left the yakuza. <laughs> oh, so, that's yeah. interesting. Okay, where yeah, I, I gotta write that one down. I gotta write that one down. It's on where Netflix I... right now too. Oh, bet good. I don't have to get yeah. where the well, house gotta... on Netflix. Well, I gotta get crunchy. Why well, I get crunchy real bad because the Uncommonwealth um, W anime premiered this week. This week, and I didn't know about it, so I gotta get crunchy real bad. Uh... So, yeah, so we'll I will get that update next week then. Yeah, next week, yeah, the next week or two. I just I gotta just do my budget and make sure I got country roll back on. Bad, bad. But I I've, I've been waiting for that because Common Rider W was probably one of the more successful Common Rider series mm-hmm. of the 2000s outside of Deno. Because that was like when they bought Common Rider um over here again and they didn't do Deno, I was surprised. I'm like they don't have more marketability, but what do I know? <laughs> what, what do right, I know? I'm, not, right. I'm not a marketing major. It's the same person. And then while we're on the manga tip, um, there was an editor that was recently fired from Shonen Jump. Um, I'm not sure if you remember. Remember, I, I don't know if I mentioned this on the podcast. Remember, I was talking about a, a manga called Red Hood that was about like yes. Red Riding Hood. Yes. This guy was the editor on that. That's why that one failed. 
even oh. my if you thought my hero academia was a little weird for the last week, year or so mm -hmm. that at a same editor that's why that makes sense well it, like you thought my hero was off the last yeah, yeah yeah if you thought my hero was off like they just recently fired him so that's why if you've been reading my hero lately and you thought it's been it seemed like it got its footing back that's why they got a new editor on it they got him back out of there Wow. Yeah, so he did that. He did. I forgot what other series he did, but the two main ones were. Oh, and he also had Kishimoto series that he did after Naruto. Same editor. So Samurai why, Eight. He why, was the why? Why is this man here? Why was he here? Like he's going around jumping from good anime, just ruining shit. Like the hell? I know it took them. It took them, it took them long enough to figure out who the problem was. I mean, because if you read Red Hood and if you read Samurai Eight, they had potential. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Oh man, well, Red, Red Hood in particular, out. Red Hood in particular, that was getting good. And the author, and because the author of on um, Red Hood was an assistant on My Hero, that's pro that's probably why he got that. that. That's probably why he got it. Now I'm thinking about it. But yeah, that's why that like I said, he did. He had yeah he yeah he was his first editing job was Samurai Eight. And then he got some others. Then he got red. Then he got Red Hood. Then he got Red my Hood. hero. Because yeah, the premise of Red Hood, especially, was like you could do so much with this, so much. Mm -hmm. I always thought that you could. Speaking of which, okay, between the two of y'all, um, the three of us need to come up with a our own version of the Grim stories. We need to our version of what? Stories. The Grim stories, Grim's fairy okay. tales. Grim stories. Yes. Yeah, something similar to like was Red Hood had a good idea. I was like, Ooh, that was getting good. And then when I heard it got canceled, I'm like, wait a minute, we just got through the training arc. No. Be right back. Y'all keep going. Yeah, but Red Hood was getting good. It had like this, it was in the middle of this training arc. And then when the author found out he was gonna get canceled vocab, he did he was like throwing subliminal shade at the editor throwing throughout the last two or three chapters. Yo, it'd be like that though. Sometimes you just you know, you can't take it sitting down, bro. Man said, hey, nah, all right. Y'all gonna get rid of me? I got some feel. <laughs> yeah, there was like a lot of meta commentary and shade in the last couple of chapters. Because he was like, he knew the editor was at four. That's yeah. why um, Samurai 8 when Kishimoto got canceled. Because, and that's like, how you have a legend like, you got the dude who made Naruto. How do you feel right. that dude? Like. Like how do you yeah, that's an epic fail. That's like that's an epic fail, bro. Like that's like having like if you had like a Kira Toriyama back in the day, you dropped the ball. Like let's say you got it after the Cell Saga and you dropped the ball, like come on, man. Like but that just goes to show you that just goes to show you, like Shonen Jump, the editors have more power than you think. And then yeah, like I said, and I just ran off those titles, like Samurai 8, my hero recently for like the last year and a half, and and Red Hood, so that's a pattern. I was surprised it took them that long. I guess they must have saw the My Hero numbers dipping pretty bad. Like, wait, there's a common denominator here because you had one legendary author coming off a of smash like Naruto. That should have been that should have been cake. Right. That been that's cake. Facts. That's facts. They they dropped the ball heavy. That's cake. You got you get you get someone who had a smash international smash hit like Naruto, and you drop the ball. Yeah, that should have been firing right there. That should have been firing immediately. How you even mess that up? And like, like, I think Seven Ryan went like maybe 20 chapters, and that was it. I mean, if it even went 20 chapters, I'd be surprised. I think My Hero, I forgot when. Yeah, he became the editor of My Hero after the season six. So when, we're, when the anime is going into, that's when he became. So if season Ooh. seven of the anime seems off, that's going to be a main. Major reason why, because that's mm. so. So season seven of him is probably that, man. yeah. So and then and then he had Red Hood, which and they planned you read Red Hood too, right? Like that was a yeah. good premise, yeah. Because you had the because the premise was starting like he had a, like a Red Riding Hood type of character, and then they found out that one of the mayors was a werewolf. The guy, the main character, ends up killing the werewolf and goes to train to become killing other things. They, they were gonna get to like dragons and red, all. red Riding Hood just became well, she was like the murderer of all the evil creatures in Grimm's fairy tales. Like, yeah, like, there was potential there, there was potential in that in that story. 
And I know a lot of people were pissed when it got canceled. I hope unless I'm praying that the manga for the for the, for Ruby Dragon is okay because they get better because this is a good this is a, a, a fun little story. You know, it's like a yeah. girl. Who, it reminds me of a uh, is it Kobayashi? Dragon Maid. Oh, okay, I can see that. Ooh, that's kind of it's giving me those vibes. Yeah, because Shonen Jump is kind of iffy with the new anime lately. I know they have one. I was kind of reading it and I forgot to keep up with the chapters. Like the main character had like a super smartphone or something. I was like, okay, this is kind of cool, but it was kind of like mm. it's like we were trying to copy Death Note a little bit, but instead of a Death Note, you have a super smartphone that can do anything. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, no, I hadn't <laughs> seen that one. Uh, I, there are some returning ones I wanted to throw out there too. Uh, we got Zatch Bell coming back finally. Yep. Oh yeah, uh, Overlord I heard that. season four just released finally omg been waiting on that and then um, on the manga tip we had one piece and black hover both come back today yep open their final arcs so yeah that was the other thing uh regarding final arcs we have the we are on that last run with one piece um mm. the ends in three years the manga will end in three years barring no issues physically or health wise with oda he already called it. He's planning on finishing in three years. So it's funny because I'm going to show y'all this here. Um, the the line of, oh, side note, July 22nd is National One Piece Day. Oh, anyway, did not know. That's good to know. That was that was right. quoted in Japan here on out. July 22nd is that. And I think July 6th or June 6th is Goku Day. I was forgetting what day Goku yeah. Day is. But this is what I want to pull up is the length of the manga versus the length of the anime, right? Oh boy. And so it breaks down which one is like how many episodes are in each one. I had it on another sheet here. Give me one second. We'll pull it up in another spot so I can look at it a little clearer. Screw it. I was making big on here for y'all. Oh wow! So they took the time and actually broke it down: manga length versus the anime length. Right. So, as y'all can see, and I'll make it big screen here. Here we go. Oh, that's interesting. You'll see, yeah, you'll see a sort of bell curve. I'm noticing where. Mm. Originally, the manga had more episodes, more like writings than the anime did. For like the first, what, four or five arcs? Yeah. And then right here is where it switched. Yeah, because Summer War was so. Yeah, Throw the Park was short. And Throw the Park, yeah. Park was kind of short. It was like straightforward. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And then this is where probably where I'm at Summit War. That's probably where I'm at right now. That is right. where you are. You're in. That's the, where you are the, right in here. To body uh, archipelago. So you're at the beginning of Summit War right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So hundred. So yeah, 107 chapters, but 122 episodes. There's Rosa, manga versus anime, and then et cetera, et Ooh, that's a lot of episodes for Cake Island. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah I Island told you, bro. Cake Island is long as hell, bro. Yeah, it wow. is and ridiculously then, long. And Wano, ooh, Wano is going to be a, probably the longest arc. Oh goodness! Yeah, yeah, Wano's been going on forever, bro. And they Wano, just finished Wano, Wano, Wano at yeah. like eight hundred, like the end of eight hundred. Yeah, and we're now, at a thousand and we're at a thousand. Yeah, jeez. And the last, ooh, I mean, the last one's going to probably be long. Oh, it's going to be longer than Wano, probably. It, it's got to be. He's got to wrap everything up from a thousand episodes. <laughs> ooh, it'll be. Well, at least we don't have that editor we were just talking about on this. Could you imagine? Ooh, he got oh, killed. Would, do, you, do, you know how, do you know how mad people would be? You know nah, we can't have that, bro. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> nah, Oda probably got enough juice. He be like, I'm yeah, thinking Oda, one person. <laughs> Oda probably got enough juice. He be like, nope, y'all not change my editor. No, nope. right, <laughs> right. Dang, I didn't really... What's the Zo? What's the Zoe saga? What's that about? Z O U. What's that about? So, 
Oh, the Zao. Yeah. That's where you meet um the people for the people. whole cake. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Oh, that's like the prelude. Okay. Basically, yeah. technically, you could you could put the Zo saga and the whole cake all together. Yeah, because I know I know Cake Island was like that was like a lot of Sanji's origin from what I've heard. Yeah, yeah Whole Cake Island is a long, it's a bunch of like it's like three different joints packed into one mm -hmm. uh, saga. So you got like Sanji whole story, but plus it's also like the story of Big Mom. Right. And okay, that and that's why it makes them like they just finished off that on um, One Piece spin on um, the Food Wars Sanji spin on. That's why they finished that. Yeah. That was a prequel to everything. Yeah. Right. I don't know if y'all guys um read that. I know you guys are more One Piece fans than I am, but I have enjoyed that Sanji Food Wars spin off. The six yeah, chapters is pretty amazing. fun. It was great. I was like, they did it because they did the um they did a one piece uh Torikos, uh collaboration. Oh, so I was like, you gotta you gotta do Sanji and Fool. So okay. I got a question for y'all. Okay. And Rod, you may still be able to answer this. Okay. Just from where you are. You notice the curve where we said we stop, it stops right here in the middle. Uh, that uh the thriller bark saga right yeah and then it starts where the anime we got more anime than manga i know for a fact that starting in summit war they started adding at the beginning of every episode there's like a five to ten minute recap including i've heard the about intro that. of the last show yeah, and they yeah, didn't do stuff. that before they don't do it no more. I They're think, still yeah. doing it in Wano. I think, yeah, because when I was watching it on Hulu, they had the option to skip the intro, and I was kind of I was kind of uh, surprised. It hasn't been popping up when I watch. No, uh, skip the, oh, intro oh, man, the, the intro is just the song. It's just the intro song. But they'll have a 10-minute piece of the, la of the like, what happened recently. Yeah, nah, bro. I, that's, they don't do that no more, bro. I... Yeah. The last oh, episode good. I saw it did. Oh, where are you watching it at? Uh, I'm on VRV, so Crunchyroll. Oh, okay. them, well, I watch it on Crunchyroll. I don't. We don't be. I don't be having no ten minute recaps. That would make sense. That's probably why the episodes are so long. That's why when I was watching on Pokemon Journeys on Netflix, I skipped the intro. It cut like a Pokemon episode. You cannot like Almost six Pokemon. Half. Yeah, you can cut Pokemon uh, with the skip the intro and the recap. You cut six minutes out easily. So I was binging. I was knocking out like six Pokemon episodes in an hour. I was like, right. I'm like, this is going by quick. Yeah. What oh, up, Jay? Was... And you can cut out the, um. oh, and you can cut out one thing, another good thing about Netflix, you can cut out the credits too. You can cut out the credits too. So you could really just, yeah. I was there was more One Piece episodes on Netflix. I would watch One Piece on Netflix if they got to um if they got to where I was at. Yeah, I, I think they stopped right before where you are. The sure. Minx, that's what they're called. Yeah, yeah, but but since we're on One Piece, let me ask a question. I've heard this from other people. I know because I know you you two looks watch the Red One mm. Piece more than me. But I know a lot of people have been saying they would love to see someone else like redraw One Piece. I know a lot of people have been. I know I saw some pictures from like the creative, um, the artist for Doctor Stone saying he should redraw One Piece. Maybe that could get more people into it if they don't like the art style from One Piece. I say you want to go both out. I say both them people, bro. Yeah. yeah. Is this One Piece has a specific art style and. It's been like that forever. I think people are just like mad that. that it's still old school. That's a, what it is. Old school style, style of art. But you got to pay homage to the, to the originators, bro. Okay. Okay. I was just kind of curious what y'all opinions on it. Because that's so like, nah, that's all of the pictures Boichi did the, um, the artist. That's still trying to modernize it, is what it you is. Don't hear them but, saying that about JoJo. That's all I'm going to say. You've never heard anybody say that about JoJo. It arguably has the most unique art style of the anime that are out right now. What, JoJo? JoJo. Yeah, 
ever. I can see that. But no one has asked that question about JoJo. Why? You see what I'm saying? Like, if you want to watch it, you're going to watch it. If the R Star ain't for you, it just ain't for you. Exactly. Accept it. That's like saying, oh, I don't do slice of lives. Okay, if you don't do slice of lives, you don't do slice of lives. Right. That Obviously, don't mean fruit basket is not still a goat. A lot of motherfuckers <laughs> got one piece as they go, just like me. You and know? Obviously, right. it's made it to a thousand plus episodes. Motherfuckers like that shit. Internationally. Right. Like, Internationally you. known. Yeah, like not an anime don't hit a, hundred, a thousand. The only other anime I can think of that's out now that's a thousand is Detect- Detect- Detective Conan. That's it. Right. I was going to say Case Closed. Other than like the old school ones that was around. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we're talking about modern maybe in the last 30, 40 years. Yeah, nobody lasts that long anymore. I mean, no, you can't make even. No, I'm trying to think of Dragon Ball combined all this episode. Like, nope. I mean, if you combine Dragon Ball together, you probably got a thousand. No, no, you don't because no super was 131, Dragon Ball I think it was like 150, and then DBZ the original was like 290. They barely cracked 500. Oh, damn. so yeah, they're not even cracked because because GT is not canon, quote yeah, unquote. <laughs> so that we minus 64. So you from can't that. say that, yeah. Right. I mean, they've been around for about the same time frame, they've been yeah. DBZ's DB's been around longer, but still. Yeah, yeah, but it, I think JoJo's been around longer than Dragon Ball. I JoJo, think. no, I think JoJo and GBZ are the same time frame. If I'm not mistaken. Okay, I like I could be completely wrong. I, I could Let be completely pull it wrong. Up here. January first of '87 is when it started. That's the serialization date. I think Dragon Ball was like '86, if I'm not mistaken. Dragon Ball was '86, '87. Um, '86 February. '86. So the year before. So they're in the same generation, then. Yep. Okay. Yep. That makes and hold sense. It, and to say that, and like with that whole art thing, you don't hear anybody complaining about JJBA's art style. Yeah, you don't. As random as it is, like I don't watch JoJo because I can't do the art style. I just accepted it. I tried it. I watched the storyline. I can't get with the art style. It just ain't no, and, that, and, that, and that's understandable. That 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 art's burnt. One Piece and JoJo are very jarring art. Right, so it was not your cup of tea. I, I get it. It's just not your cup of tea. Um, like uh, what was it? Was it W? You know what I'm talking about? Where they were like go into the other world. Uh, shoot, Dimension W, I think is what it was called. Oh, I don't know which is uh, not ringing a bell. Let me see here. Yeah, I think it was called Dimension W, but it's another one that's got a unique art style with it. Um, it's just it's a part of what makes, and that's it's like the mangaka drew it the way he drew it because of the aesthetic that it gave. That's why bleach is bleach, you know what I mean? One piece is one piece, they each have their own unique, each mangaka makes their own mark on the world based on their art style. You're not gonna tell somebody to, I'm not gonna disrespect somebody's art because I don't like that style. Oh no, that and that makes sense. The only part, only art that really got changed was on One Punch Man because that was a webcomic. They had to redraw that, right? It, right, and it was exactly. Yeah, that's a, speaking of final arc. That's another one I heard on his final arc too. Is One Punch Man? That's another one. It I is. On his, it is. Yeah. Speaking of that, so you had a lot of manga on their final arcs right now. So. My hero's on his final arc. Black Clover's on his final arc. One Piece is on his final arc. Shonen Jump is going to be out of some Bleach bangers. Is on his final arc. Yeah, anime wise, it is. But. Uh, I did hear rumor that Hunter Hunter is also coming back finally. Yeah, um, yeah. Gosh, he has a Twitter. He's been. Yeah. He, he has about three chapters that are almost done, finalized. They're close to working on chapter four hundred for Hunter Hunter. So hopefully. Hopefully, maybe whatever arc he's working on is the last one he can finish. Because he said he couldn't, even, he can't even sit in the chair no more. So for two years, he right. can sit in the chair. So hopefully, whatever they got left, he can finish it, and he could just relax. Let that man just relax and be. Let him just enjoy whatever years he has left because he's he's earned it at this point. 
I mean, he did Hunter Hunter. He did Yu Yu Hakusho. The man needs to relax. I mean, if I'm working my butt off and I can't even draw, sit down and draw in a chair anymore, that that that's scary. Yeah. We were just talking about the um the um what started all of with the Ruby Dragon manga health issues as well. That right. These mongas literally work themselves to death, literally. Yeah. And if you've seen the anime Baku, yeah. And if you've seen the anime Baku, man, you know how that is. If you watch, I, was, I would tell any anime or manga reader, watch it, watch that Preach. anime. Preach. Watch that anime and don't ever talk anything bad about any manga. Ever. When you, oh. And you say, oh, they're lazy. Or they, all you do is draw it. How hard could that be? Like, no. No, can you, you know how hard it is to draw me? First and off. <laughs> like any manga anime fan in the sound of my voice, watch Bakuman. It's on Hulu. It, there's no dub, unfortunately. It was never really it was never dubbed, so you're gonna have to suck it up and watch and watch it so. Sounds like it's, worth it, it's so worth it though. Here we it go. Is. Yeah, it's it's a slice of life, but it's a it has <laughs> romance. It and if you're a fan of Shonen Jump. And you know certain titles. There's a it's a low key very shady manga if you know your series. Oh, very shady. It's, shady. it's so shady, it's bro. Shady hell, bro. Oh my gosh. Like a shady. Like the shady game. Game. I, I thought I was watching Housewives. I'm like, wait a minute, this is good shady. Oh, that <laughs> shit is fucking picnic in the park shade, nigga. It is like, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. makes sense. Like if you read Bakuman, that made Death Note. Yeah, keep that in mind. It is right. the same team that made Death Note that wrote this. And did this after Death Note. That's the thing. Yeah. This is what they did after Death Note. Then they did Platinum right. End. Right. Then they did Platinum End. So, right. <laughs> Let's think about this. They all <laughs> shady as hell. Like, so I'm telling you, yeah, what, what Rod said, you, anyone who has ever, who, if you like comics, if you like anime, if you like cartoons, you should watch this show. Like, if you didn't have a level of respect for the people who do it, you will after you finish this. Yeah, that's why I, I don't talk crap about comic writers, manga artists. I, I don't talk crap about them because that's not Arthur an easy life. Any of them, because yeah, yeah, because I mean they're living. They, it, it's I know some people will say, "Oh, it's a corny story," but it's like there's some subtle corny. There's some subtle lessons in there throughout this they journey. Ain't even subtle. They're not even subtle. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to be nice, but okay. You would, nah, nice. screw that. Mm-mm. You always be trying to be nice, be nice with the subtlety. Nah. You ain't trying to be nice. Mm-mm. Not trying like, to be this nice. shows you what, like, like you got to be, like, if you, you're going after something, you're going after something. Like, Bakuman is one of those series where it's like, yeah. I respect the creative process. Like, I, like, I, I don't. Like I said, I, I like after I read that, I never talk crap about a manga, an artist, a rapper, a yeah. music artist, anybody creative. I never talk crap about them because I'm like, that's a struggle. You see the struggle. You really see the struggle on paper. And it's real. You, it is so real. And these Man. two men, they went from junior high school. They didn't get their big hit till they were in college. Right. Do you realize how many years from that is? High. From junior high to college. That's a lot. That's eight, that's like almost ten years grinding. Like Long that. time, bro. Did you imagine trying to grind for the same thing you were in junior high school doing it while you when you're you're what I think you were like sophomores in college by the time they yeah. really took off by then? Yep. I mean, oh, they were just going and then that was just the starting line. <laughs> right. Like who knows what they did after that? Right. Kind of think of it. I only think One Piece ended in Bakuman. I don't think they ended. No, they were still going in Bakuman. Yeah, One Piece, they they were like, they're it's still going by at that point. Yeah, maybe towards the end of the series, I think One Piece because they stopped mentioning One Piece, so probably I think it ended towards the last third of the story. <laughs> that should tell you something. I think once everybody, once all the main characters got big, I think they stopped mentioning One Piece. I, now that I think about mm-hmm. it, because they're edit- they got didn't I think that was right after they because they got introduced to somebody big, if I'm not mistaken, and then they started like double time and they were. And they right. were too busy to read anything. I think that's what happened. Because didn't they show a clip? And they, like I showed, like I think they panned by the, they panned by the shelves. Yeah. And like, and they then we the dust on them or some something. I think it was something where they didn't, they hadn't read anything in a while. 
that they normally would. Yeah, and then even when they were going to the office, you didn't see One Piece memorabilia, I think, towards the second At half of the all. show. Yep. So One Piece ended. They just never said in the series I, when One Piece ended. Yeah. Because I don't think nobody knew when One Piece was going to end. They, they took it. Shoot. Man, because it's still going. Because that, that, was, that was in 2012, mind you. So, yeah. they Because they was writing that from 08 to, to, to 2012. Ten years later, still going. Yeah, right, and ten years later, we got three years left. <laughs> I'll be honest; I never thought I'd see the day One Piece and Final Arc in the same sense. I know I thought I'd never see the day. I, hold, I, up, I, hold up, hold up. All I have to say is this: Goat Anime put this up there, and I have to agree. The kings have returned. Thanks, <laughs> you know what? That's the way we finally Super's got going. the big three. Back in the building, baby. That's four, though. And at, I know, but the big... I'm talking about just the big three in general. Yeah, yeah thanks. Luffy, Luffy is just an honorary at this point. Like, he can't be big won't be. No, Luffy, Luffy won't be at this honorary. point. <laughs> Luffy and Goku are one A and one B at this point. Luffy and Goku are oh, one yeah, A and one B. Yeah. Luffy's definitely in there now. Oh, uh, yeah. Naruto with Barry, I'm on... Man, that is so... That, that hurt. That still hurts. Don't know drove ever bury on that. That hurts. Yeah, that hurt. They did Naruto and Sasuke during the poor so. <laughs> Same fight. Naruto loses Karama. Naruto loses Karama, and then sh- and then Sasuke loses the Renegade. That's a BS. Yeah, was, that was a pretty. Yeah, they was wilding, bro. They trying, to fuck niggas, they trying to get rid of the old heads, bro. And I felt that. I saw, and I, I don't know if I mentioned this on a podcast, but I know I saw this a couple of weeks back. Someone that wrote, Boruto is the show about people who grew up in the hood trying to raise their kids. I'm like, you know what? It's real. It might be. Nigga. It's real. It makes sense. I'm not it makes mad at sense. it. I'm like, that makes sense. It makes a lot of sense, bro. We all were in the hood. We grow up, move to the suburbs, and raise our kids. The kids are just not like what we were back in the they day. They're not. They're not. Yeah, sure. They build different. It is built different, mm-hmm. and it's not that they're not just as strong. It's just they built different. Right. It's a different I live in the suburbs now, nigga. Like these, let's see some of these Rona babies. We gonna mess around. Someone turns Super Saiyan eventually. <laughs> One of these Rona babies. Still, yeah. <laughs> this generation will create the first Saiyans <laughs> for real, for real. Maybe, yeah. maybe I. I know I saw somewhere. I think. I saw someone. Um, someone was looking up the Wikipedia for George Judson. I think he's supposed to be. I think he was born in 2022. <laughs> if you can look the Wikipedia up for George Judson, he was born. I think July 30th, 2022. George Judson. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, that means yeah. People are like, oh wait, George Judson's supposed to be born pretty soon. I'm like, what? That should tell you how much. Yep. <laughs> the July 31st not- today. He was. Be, he's supposed to be born today. So, George Jetson was born today. That's crazy. Mm. We are way behind schedule, people. As far as technology. We need Senku. <laughs> George Jetson was born today. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, he was born, he was today. born today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, damn. So I said, we are way behind, people. I mean... He was born today. When we meet him, he already an adult. So maybe we not behind yet. Maybe. 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 Maybe, maybe all that technical advances happens while he's a teenager. That's true. That's true. And so we got we got another decade. I just want to know. Like I gotta find it. We. I will keep an eye out for this. I need to know if the, if someone named their child George Jetson. Oh, today. you know, oh, you know, somebody oh, did. I, I have to know. find it. I have, you like, I, yeah, you yeah. know, someone did. If they know that fact, you know, someone Jetson's probably in the middle. Of you. I want this, it'll probably be an, probably an, Jetson, yeah. probably an Hispanic house or Jorge Jetson. Diaz. That's a Jorge Jetson. <laughs> I'm done with you, Rod, nigga. You, <laughs> you have the whole thing, Jetson, bro. I'm done, son. <laughs> I'm done. Think about it. Think of- I can't yeah, die. Right. 
Well, I have, yeah, I have to know. Is crazy. So in like a week or two, because you know it takes them a while for them to update stuff. In well, like a week or two, we got to look, find out, and see if anybody had a Jorge. Not Jorge. No, I'm saying it. A Jorge bro, Jackson. I, Jorge Jackson is crazy, man. Anything <laughs> could be possible these days. Jorge I mean. Jackson is crazy. Bro. I'm oh, looking man. for that nigga, bro. I need to find him. Like, right. Like, I just got to find I have to find I out. I need Jorge to Jackson find anyway. him, bro. Um, Jorge man. Jetson Diaz, you heard it I here first. You know what? You Yo, know we are going to end the show Jetson on that note right there. Or Jorge there's Jetson Jimenez. <laughs> Listen, I'm about to be a teacher, nigga. I'm checking all the students. <laughs> Is there a Jorge Jetson in the class? Look, that should be how you start your first day of class every day. I'm starting that shit, bro. Oh man. I'm gonna call yeah, I, I got it. every time I call Rose. Yo, Rose like, I'm gonna slide it in, it in the middle of the road. Yep. Jorge Jetson. Diaz. <laughs> no, wait. Jorge what? Jetson. Oh, my Eminem. luck, there's going to be Jorge Diaz in my class. Right. Yep. Of course. <laughs> of course. I'm going to get a Jorge Diaz. And he's going to be like, um, are you talking about me? Like, <laughs> someone, I'm, I'm betting down. Oh, someone man. did that. Someone has got to have done bro, that. Bro, I have to oh, find wow. the Jorge Jetson, bro. This is this is it. that is too much. That is too much. I don't even want to find the George Justin no more, bro. I gotta too find the Jorge Justin. Much, <laughs> yo. I feel so bad for the future because if I I'm not gonna find them probably, but because I'm a teacher, if anybody in my class is pregnant, I'm telling them to name their son Jorge Justin. Do not do that. The date's yeah. over. We already passed the date. We I'm already passed the date. The date is over. I'm gonna someone tell does. Jorge someone, someone in this world is Jorge Jetson. His name gotta be Jorge Jetson. They gotta be. And they're gonna think it's they're gonna think it's a football player. That's fine. Because that's what it sounds like. It sounds like a football who they player's think name. It is. We know who it is. <laughs> I did. It's it's somebody. So that if you get okay, Rod if Nagle? somebody if that happens, if that happens, and you get somebody to name their kid Jorge Jetson, and he makes it to the NFL, I am going to laugh. Bro, so I gotta hard. be the godfather, bro. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, I'm like, awesome. yo, I gave you the name. I got. I'm be telling you, there's gonna be someone. Someone naming their kid George Jetson today. Bro. I mean, I'm sure there is. I am pretty sure there is. I'm just waiting. Oh, yeah. I'm a, waiting a, a baby fight. born every like 20 something seconds or some shit like that, bro. Oh, it could be Georgina. It could be Georgina Jackson too. It could be what, a girl right? too. You know what I'm saying? But that kid's gonna get roasted mercilessly if they ever find out the middle name of Jetson. They're getting roasted. That kid's oh, roasted. Oh, me? Well, see, the thing is, yeah. I'm not roasted. I'm about to be like, know. I need to be your friend. Only the no, I need to be friends. I don't need to be your friend. I need to be your parents' friend. Right. Work. Work. <laughs> you know they nerdy. As, you know they nerdy. Yeah, you know they nerdy. Because you ain't named yourself, nigga. You did. First name George, middle name Jeff. I swear someone's done that. Someone. That means, wait, then that means, oh, that means some Jeff other characters are going better been. if I find him, if I find Jorge Jetson. But wait, that means I mean, Mr. Spacey's already been born too. If you think about it, Mr. Spacey that he born. is a bad kid, so that I can have a parent-teacher conference. But what if what if Spacely was a moniker? Maybe his ancestor's name was Musk. Maybe Spacey Stop. was it. SpaceX. <laughs> Yo. Stop! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> I can go three. I can go. I can go. On, I can go many directions with this. And in that note, ladies and gentlemen, we will catch y'all. Look for your local Jorge Jetson. Yeah, look out for Jorge Jetson, y'all. <laughs> look out for him. If you find him, oh, let DM us know. Us, text let us, us call know. us, please, please, find please, please. IG us, Twitch us. Oh YouTube my gosh! Us. Someone's doing it. We, we know this. Oh my gosh. Look, y'all have a know. great rest of your week. We will catch <laughs> you on next we week. We are going to try to get the D&D game back up here in the next week or two. That is definitely something we're going to do. Not everybody's back in town. Uh, at all right. So, um, maybe Saturday? Maybe? I don't know what y'all got on Saturday. Got to check the schedule. That's what that's, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it later. Though. But yeah, we could, we, could, uh, we could do that. We could do that. 
and then uh, go from there. All but right. y'all have a great one. It's Rod Vocab and the Panda signing out. Have yes, a good one. Look for Jorge Judson, everybody. Find Jorge Judson Jimenez. And Spacely, because Find clearly him. Spacely is coming up too. <laughs> oh, we out. <laughs> What's